Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spawncast episode 136. Have uh, quite a few, th- a lot of controversy actually to talk about because Pokemon and Death Stranding are both in the title. So that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, but but we have to apparently go to Sean immediately because before we even <laughs> introduce people, apparently this has to happen because his video got more than 5,000 likes, right, Sean? So yeah, I could. So. And, and the thing was, I put it in the middle of the video so that it was like you actually had to watch the video. And I guess people actually watch the video. <laughs> uh, so do you want to tell people apparently a, so, an arrest story? Well, basically in my book my my picture looks like a mugshot and i made a joke saying that yeah it looks like a mugshot i never had a mugshot but i was very close if we got five thousand likes on the video i'd tell the story so here we are um basically in high school um uh me and my girlfriend got in a fight at a football game just you know arguing back and forth or whatever i got mad and me and my buddy elijah Wan decided to leave the football game and go to where of course we went to sonic because that is where everyone went so we went up to sonic and um we're sitting on like the patio because it was one of those sonics that had the patio in the middle and um basically we're eating some food she called me uh we started you know bitching back and forth again i got mad i had one of those cheap little cell phones because i was like 16 or 17 in high school threw it down and broke it so um there's a table across from us and there's these two like redneck guys like in their 30s and the dude looks at me and he goes Hey man, you got a uh, you got a spider on your shirt there, and I'm just like, why is this guy talking to me? So I didn't even say anything. Elijah Wan is like, yo, you see this dude's mad, like leave him alone. Why are you even messing with him? Just you know, don't talk to him. So they start going back and forth, whatever. They get in their car. Uh, it's the two dudes and their two and their two girlfriends, and they leave. Three minutes later, they come back through the parking lot, and the girl just starts like screaming at Elijah on, like, "Yo, what uh, what did you what did you say to me when I was pulling away?" Blah blah blah. And Elijah's like, I, "I didn't say nothing to you. What, what's your problem?" So the boyfriend gets out of the back seat, walks up to Elijah on, and decks him. And Elijah Wan's like a, a big dude, and so he just kind of flinches a little bit. And I'm like, "Oh fuck, here we go." So Elijah starts beating him up. And uh, I run over there to grab Lodge off of him. And the other dude gets out of the car who's like this six foot one string bean guy, looked like a freaking crackhead. And he decks me in the head. And I'm like, no, this isn't going to happen. So we just start brawling. You know, I threw him against the car and I'm just like whooping his ass. And so all the employees at the Sonic, because I was working there at the time, they all know me and everything. Wait, were you working at the time while this was happening? No, no, I was Uh, off. I was off. I was was my day off. Um, So they run out and they break up the fight or whatever. The Sonic is right on a town line where there's two different towns so two different police um uh precincts or not precincts but two different cops from different towns show up uh <laughs> sheriffs show up there there was an off-duty cop up there who saw the whole thing go down so they're talking to us they're like what happened blah 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 and um so i'm just like yeah you know i was having an argument with my girlfriend um these dudes just started mouthing off the dude got out of the car and hit elijah one he was acting in self-defense blah 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 so they're like okay well we're gonna take them in for assault because this off-duty cop here saw the whole thing just come down to the magistrate's office we just need you to give us a statement i'm like okay whatever the magistrate's office is like five minutes away so we go in the bathroom you know just wash our hands off hop in the car and we go down to the magistrate's office well since this is podunk north carolina you know there's some you know, you know some stuff that happens in there so we're sitting in there waiting and then the magistrate calls us in and um so we go into the magistrate's office and he's like you know i i don't i don't i don't think we're getting the whole story here and i'm like what are you talking about and he's like i i just i think there's more to the story than you guys are leading on and you know and so elijah one being elijah one love you buddy uh he just starts screaming oh it's because i'm black and that's why you don't believe what i'm saying i'm like oh jesus christ we're going to jail we are going to jail and so it, he just starts going off and then one of the guys comes in there he's like all right come on come on we're, we're doing your fingerprints we're doing your mugshot you're you're going the jail is like 15 minutes up the road and like he's like you're you guys are going in and i'm like this is fucking ridiculous so they start doing um fingerprints to us and the other town that came 
to the uh, scene of the incident or whatever walks in because they had to do a report for their end for showing up at the scene and they're like why are you what's going on here why are you getting fingerprinted blah 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 and i'm like yo like these the magistrate doesn't believe us like what we said even though like people were there and saw it can you please go in there and say something so they go in there and we're just like sitting in there in cuffs now like waiting for them to do more shit and then they, they come out and they're like you guys are clear don't worry about it you know just just go in there he's gonna talk to you and then you guys can go and i'm like oh thank god so he goes in there and he's like if you get in a fight in my town again blah 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 and i'm just like all right dude whatever so we leave the pre- we leave the magistrate's office and two of my buddies they somehow found out that we were down there because the party there was a party that we were all going to go to that night that was like probably like five blocks down the road they're just standing out there drunk as hell just like laughing they're like ah you guys almost went to jail and i'm like yeah you guys are going to get arrested for being drunk in public you might want to leave so like a freaking movie they they're, they're standing here like this and they split apart and i look across the street at the park bench and there's my girlfriend just sitting there on the bench and i'm like oh no 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 so elijah Wan is like well they're drunk so i'm gonna drive them back to the party you you have a good time with her and i'm like shit so i go over there i walk across the street and i sit down next to her i'm like so uh yeah i'm sorry she literally sits there for five minutes doesn't say a word slaps me in the face gets in her car and leaves and there's my story about how me and elijah (laughs) almost went to jail uh for self-defense can i I ask a question real quick yeah Like you were hanging out with Hakeem Olajuwon back then. <laughs> <laughs> like you were hanging, like, you somebody, Hakeem Olajuwon beat somebody's ass in North Carolina. I didn't yeah. know about all this. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah. it was it was it was it was a fun night, but unfortunately, that was just like a, a, almost a regular night. Just yeah, um, Jeez, so that was, was almost. Like, that story was on the level of like Death Stranding storytelling right there. You made sure to story. get every little detail in there. It was crazy. It, it was, a, it was, it's a, definitely a night I remember. Was, very was, well. there any, was there any shitty stealth parts in there too? While you're, oh, while you're no, no, it was, it was all action, dude. It was all action. Oh, okay. Did you have like, to get a pizza from Sonic and then deliver it to somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah you had to get constantly chili, holding the, the pizza pot. to your body. Were you bouncing yourself the whole time? Like, yeah, yeah. Tots, you know we got the chili cheese tots and brought them to the magistrate so that he wouldn't he wouldn't throw us in jail for the night. Like, Stop. I know you're about to release like an actual like video game related book, but you, you should think about talking of like self biography at this point, like autobiography. This would be great. I mean, there's, 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 there's a lot of crazy stories, man. There's a or, lot of crazy or straight stories. up do a game grumps, like just play a game and just share the stories. Yeah, that wouldn't yeah. be a bad yeah. idea. Hey second man, channel, bat, man. Bat. Second channel. Yeah. Call it, call it shooting the shit with Sean. Bat, it'd, be the, it'd be the third channel because he needs to do the wrestling channel. I need to so. do the wrestling <laughs> one now that, the, uh, now that the book is done. Hey, man. It's fast, fast times at Sonic Drive Thru. So. <laughs> Sonic, <laughs> Sonic was the spot, man. I love that'd, that be the, that'd be the title of the book. Like, I could tell so many crazy stories <laughs> about that place. Everything oh, went man. down at Sonic, basically. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was the meeting spot fast. because we didn't yeah. we didn't have like anywhere to go. So like because they had an outdoor like you would seriously go there on a Friday or Saturday night. There would because there was a um, a car wash right next to it. That car wash would just have cars. You know, it would be full of people parking and going to Sonic and hanging out. You would drive by at two three in the morning sometimes. Sonic would be closed, and like people would still be hanging out there. Like it was, it was, it was crazy, man. It was, it was the, it was the place to be. Now, well, Sean, this this sounded like a really crazy year of your life when you worked at Sonic. Was this 2006? No, I I was oh. I graduated high school in 2003, so this was 2002 is when mm. I worked there because I owed my parents a bunch of money, so they made me get a job. So what you're saying is this was the prequel to Sonic 06? <laughs> it was, yeah, oh. essentially the prequel to Sonic 06. Mm. Out of right. high school, you owed your parents a bunch of money. That could be another story for your, uh, you your channel. Yeah, man. that was a that was a crazy night too, man. <laughs> We uh, just basically the plot of Good Burger at this point. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the new channel idea, Sean. I play a game while you tell a story over it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I mean, that'll work. We're in. All right. Cool. It's called Spawn and Sean Co-op. Every every oh, every every, every Saturday at noon, we'll have, a, we'll have a video of me playing a game and Sean telling a, a long story over it. Apparently, <laughs> there, there was there was quite a few. Uh, yes. Uh, our guest tonight. We're gonna start with him. Austin John plays. Hey everybody! How I thought doing? it would be good to have you on here since uh, this is the last Spawncast before Pokemon launches. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy Thursday in Australia and then a crazy Friday <laughs> here. It's all been building up to this. You're gonna be on that right away, right? 
I mean, this is kind of what my channel has been like building toward for three years, covering all the 3DS Pokemon content, covering all the Switch content. Yeah, we had Let's Go, but whatever. But now, now we're getting a new generation. We're getting a new world, the new mechanics. Pokemon are getting giant. Everything was leaked last weekend, but we're not moving on. <laughs> and then everything got taken down on Monday. It was it was it was a week already. The game's not even out yet. Yeah. So so we so we should pay attention to your channel if we need tips on Pokemon. Is what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, okay. uh, well, first of all, I, I saw it in the chat. I'm not discussing the leaks or spoilers or anything like that. We could talk about the leaks, but I'm not going to go into specifics. As right. Far as, like they were no cool. Or Squirtle. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like that, like the Pokedex and all that stuff I know was out there. We're not, yeah, we're not looking about at that or going over any of that. So you don't have to worry about any spoilers or anything in the chat. Great. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting to see that. But there was still a lot of controversy around it. We'll, we'll talk a bit about Pokemon leading up to it. And I did see a super chat earlier, which I'm gonna go down and read super chats in a bit. But I did see a super chat earlier about us talking, uh, guessing the Metacritic score. We'll, we'll be doing that later on as well when we talk about the Pokemon uh pokemon thoughts going into its release um so that'd be good and we have mvg is with us tonight what's going on what's up everyone good thanks to have you here you, you played a bunch of the same games i played this week so that'll yeah. that'll work well yep um and then we have evan of course evan what's up oh, not much man always busy nate is taking up a good portion of the screen hopefully he's here <laughs> probably not he's dividing the screen. <laughs> it's like I'll a mario it. party game right now yeah i'm here 4v4 <laughs> yeah 4v4 <laughs> Nate, are you here because you played Death Stranding and and you seem like you were you wanted to talk about it? It's this a fucking game. mic doesn't work. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> He's back. Nate's here. All right. Oh, good. it works. Yeah, it good. does work. I'm You're... trying to work. <laughs> and Nate, Nate's rolling along on his new channel too. Nate the Hate. I like it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of hate is underrated. Is that actually a new channel? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's a new channel. He's he's doing some uh, some discussion videos on different topics going on in the in the gaming space. And uh, hey, I yeah. think it's off to I think it's off to a good start, Nate. Death Not Stranding bad. pissed off a lot of people yesterday and today. Yeah. I think that, I think Death Stranding just makes I think it usually makes everyone. I guess it's not Death Stranding. Is that people? will defend a user review on Metacritic more than they would defend their own family and say, you can give it a zero without playing it. That's a just review. But you know, if a professional reviewer played the game for 50 hours and gave the game a nine, they're wrong because they played the game. Do you know, do you know why, do you know why it's, it's almost impossible? It's pretty much impossible to give Death Stranding a zero. It's one of the few games that's come out this generation that it just, it just works like right away like there i, I did true. not see any issues really with this game nope, in terms nope. of bugs or glitches metacritic or anything, so. they are giving it zeros because kojima is a fraud okay and those okay. people are right to do that that's what my comment section is telling me they are right to have that opinion and to I, review the game they didn't play a zero I, I saw someone in the comment section earlier. They just said, uh, uh, "Props to Hideo Kojima for releasing the first free game of 2019 because you can just watch it and get the full experience <laughs> on YouTube." <laughs> uh, I mean, somebody's gonna cut that together. It's gonna be like it's a already out. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, that was fast. I saw, was I saw. I saw it in my uh, recommended last how, night. Actually, how long? How long is it? Just like uh, about ten time? hours, right under ten mm -hmm. hours, I think. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Got is it. That the, is that the one that has all the different endings as well? Is it the same? Video? I don't know. The different ending one. The one that says all endings is two hours on its own, and I don't really know if there's multiple endings or if they're just saying that because it looks long, even though it's just one long cutscene. Yeah, wow. that's, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. So a lot of cutscenes still to go through. I mean, the opening. And we'll, we'll we'll talk about that when we get to this. Yes. The first two hours is basically twenty minutes gameplay. Yeah. Rest is cut through, <laughs> I, so. I, uh, I really we'll, we'll, we'll get into, into it. it. We'll get it. We'll okay. Cover so, that. Uh, Jordan. Hi. How are you? How are you doing tonight? Great. I played Death Stranding as well. You got the you got the special edition though. I got the regular special edition, oh, not okay, the not it. not not the baby, not the weird baby. Listen, man. Why? There's some people a little weird out there. I put some Dude, posts on Twitter. There's a I guy who unboxed it. It was licking it, and I was like, "Why are you licking the baby? This is uncomfortable." <laughs> like, I'm connecting weird. to the other side. Uh -huh. No, all you need is the steel book, and that's it, right? The steel I, book I actually looks pretty that. cool. That looks it's a great cool. steel book. I don't need it, and I thought it was going to be a little baby. I didn't know it was going to be a giant life-size baby. 
Imagine having that in your house and people coming over being like, oh, look at your nice video game. What the hell is that? Yeah, and Dude, what you I, do is you, you never you never acknowledge it ever. I kind of want it. I kind of want it to put it what in What is my wrong with you Same. people? Well, I, I wanna... my... Dude, think about it. Like you have some chick over and you're like, you like turn on the, the little beat. That's, or whatever. Like, no, yeah. that's the worst well, case you, scenario. You, that's, that's, that's the best. The, absolute the RGT worst mood case lighting. Scenario. No, you gotta be like, look, baby, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm always safe. I don't wanna accidentally create one of these little babies. So I'm a. Uh, does it, totally does it light up? Choice. Does it, it does lights it, up? Does yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. See, if you have that in your bedroom, Sean, and you take them in there and it's it's like dark. Dude, and that'd you, be so you just, awesome. You just, you, just <sighs> say, you just say finally and you just turn it It's already the creepy light enough light. that my <laughs> controller. Like, yeah, nothing put a, else. Put on like <laughs> voice commands on it with like no, Google say, or um, something and turn it imagine on. Imagine if it looked like a lava lamp where you put that baby inside a lava lamp and there's all the gooey shit around it. That That's what it kind of looks like, though. It does look like a lava lamp. I love it. Like it's I've already been, creepy like, enough. My controller won't shut up every time the baby cries. Yeah. Okay, I don't need it. I don't need the actual representation light up baby behind you me can, sitting there sucking it, its thumb. You can make it go through the uh, the TV instead if you want. Well, yeah, yeah, and you lose the immersion, I guess. Well, it's it's weird because at one point I was playing in the living room so my fiance could see it because uh, she's actually really interested in Death Stranding. So I'm sitting about twenty feet back, and every time the controller is like goo goo gaga, I was like, what the fuck? Like that's really weird. <laughs> Uh, and then we have uh, Sean. If you have not been able to tell, Sean is here with us tonight. Hello. You I did not, not play Death Stranding. You did not. I you... also didn't play De- Death Stranding. I thought I, I was played, the only one. I played. I played the real game, New Super Lucky Sale. Yeah, but you didn't play Jumanji, you bitch. I, well, no, it's coming. I got to do Just Dance first. We're, we're working on Just Dance. I'm sitting here playing Believe Jumanji. Right? I have no one to play it with. Hold on. You're going to play Jumanji, Just Dance, and, and New Super Lucky's Tale before Death Stranding. Even just New, well, it. New Super Lucky's Tale, I already beat it. I just got, I just, there's just extra yeah. stuff to do. Um, okay. You can tell us a bit more about that, too. But Just cool. Just Dance and uh, um, uh, Jumanji were like challenges, which evidently I need to just stop doing because people are crazy and they just bust right through them. I want to see more about got the Wii one. No, I, I got the <laughs> Switch one. I got the uh, Wii one. I know you did. You got the real version. I got. Oh, I gotta yeah. see. I gotta see more about that uh, Jumanji game, though, Sean. You'll have to be on that. <laughs> yeah, I will. Unfortunately. Uh, and then we have uh, OJ. What's going on? What's up, man? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Death Stranding. Okay. Hell yeah. 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 So I guess. Yeah. Wow. I guess. Yeah. Everybody here, except for Austin and Sean, played Death Stranding. Okay. Cool. And that makes sense. Yeah. Austin's getting ready for Pokemon, and uh, Sean was getting Sean was ready for Jumanji. Sean, Sean were you preoccupied with the uh, okay. Garfield cart? I, you know, I've been thinking of importing it, but. Because it's available on the European eShop right now, but mm. I'm just gonna wait. It comes out in a few days anyway. Yeah, it's like a, it's like two weeks, a week. Yeah. Like that. And then something we have, like uh, then we have Max, Dreamcast guy is back. Hey, hey, sorry I was gone for the last couple of weeks. I actually had some people tweeting me that they they missed me on the show. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, honestly, I really love doing this podcast, and uh, it meant a lot. Um, I kind of had a family emergency, and uh, everybody was really understanding, so I had to take some time away for the family emergency, and then I was at BlizzCon. But uh, I'm finally back, and I bought luigi's mansion i actually watched uh, the last week's episode where he's talking about luigi's mansion i bought it i haven't even unwrapped it yet so that's going to be good. next after i'm done with death stranding we'll see the spooky game it's, it's a great good. game it's yeah. like one of the one of the most beautiful games on the switch can yeah i, say, yeah. Yeah. Can I, I saw can people I say, saying that yeah. can i say something real quick uh, to to max uh, your yeah. video about uh, blizzcon was really good because you know how you're talking about how you were actually in the crowd and the reaction from the audience was not really what yeah. everyone believed it was online. Cause mm-hmm. I was one of those people that believed like, you know, once they, they, they announced Diablo apology. 4, then yeah. everything was, everything was okay again. But you know, your video really kind of really showed that it wasn't, really that kind of filling in the room which was very interesting because it didn't really come across that way i I recorded some audio and i didn't put it in the video but i i still have it i recorded some audio when i was in the room and they were doing some of the announcements and they did the apology and stuff and you can tell that the people at the front like the mega fans were in line for like five hours they're cheering the rest of the room is so quiet that at one point somebody clapped next to me like this they golf clapped and you could hear it so i feel like yeah the perception online of that uh, that event is a little bit different than the reality but yeah i appreciate all that okay very cool uh so what's ever we can we can jump into some gameplay impressions on different games we've been playing uh what's everyone what's everyone been up to uh we'll hold death stranding for the first topic mm-hmm. but outside of death stranding what's everyone been up to if anything need smash, for speed terry. heat Sorry. terry oh, smash yeah, yeah, yeah terry <laughs> came out and smashed and he's so freaking awesome i've been labbing him some more 
oh my gosh like if you were into hardcore fighters back in the day which some people are having some issues and i was having some issues too quarter like circles double right quarter here. circles inputs and stuff like that it, i've been getting better with it i've been playing a bit more and it's so much fun terry legit plays like an old school like king of fighters type of game he can do oh, some shit. crazy stuff man like i'm absolutely loving terry now and like i thought i wasn't he wasn't gonna be like one of my mains but i think he might be one of my mains like i've been labbing it a bit more and he's freaking awesome uh so yeah i'm having a lot of fun with terry and just playing the game more in general they, they fix some stuff up with like the, the battle lobbies and stuff like that still they have some work to do with some of the online but overall i've been getting some pretty good matches labbed out terry guys got um a lot of different characters got uh, a lot of uh like updates so, like jigglypuff is actually kind of good now which is crazy Roger, for a, for a filthy casual like myself what yes. is labbing uh practicing okay like you're like in the lab you know what i'm saying like working you know what i'm got saying got it All yeah right, yeah yeah you. so i've been, been work i've been practicing uh <laughs> been practicing quite I, a bit i heard uh, some people concerned because he he might be a little weird in tournament play is that right who uh terry yeah yeah i heard just i just saw people talking about him on twitter i didn't know if he was like too strong or just weird or he's or like... he's really strong the oh, reason okay. why he's really strong is because he has like a thing called like the the go meter once he hits 100 mm. percent, he has this where he can he can access two other special moves and like you can combo into those special moves as if it, we were playing king of fighters the, the... on most characters some characters like based on di which is directional influence it mm. might change but on a lot of characters like he can hit you with like let's say like a forward tilt into like his buster wolf the main, like, the main trick is, dead. yeah, the main trick is he, he can spam it after 100. Like, you can just do Wait, as many Evan, as he wants, as you, often as he wants. Did you pick up Terry, Evan? I picked up Terry, and he got oh. me, I played him a bit, he's pretty good, but I don't like the idea of having to play for 100%. Like, when he's earlier, he's okay, but when you're at 100, that's when he is Terry, like, that's when you're really gonna start <laughs> to fight properly. Uh, so, he got okay. me interested in Ryu again, because I was learning Ryu. They did do a lot of fixes for Ryu, which actually worked out, but then I looked into it, and yeah, no, directional input characters like that, and the ones that auto-turn, they're still buggy as hell. Like, I've been listening to many other people talking about how they'll just turn around randomly, or how their inputs won't go in properly, like... 40 percent of the time so mm. there's there's issues with them that they still need to work out before but he uh, all of them it's will be interesting awesome. because a lot of people when he got announced were like oh terry and that's now it turns he's out SNK, he's like one man. of the best he's this really good character he well, shows up and well, zachary put a lot of time into there's, it there's the honeymoon period usually in fighting games with new characters oh, wow. until everyone figures him out he's going to be amazing mm -hmm. and then if everyone figures him out he could be a trash can so it, like uh, love to see He's better. I think he's better than Ryu and Ken, though. You'd I think, think so, but Ryu's neutral is way too strong right now, especially with how they've changed his fireballs up. He can get you to 100 <laughs> in almost an instant. It's not That's even That's true, funny. but if, if you look at it, though, what Smash is always about getting, like, those clutch kills, like, when you're at a higher percentage because of rage. Terry has the rage plus with no, the yeah. go. I mean, and that adds just, like, so much more dangerous, you know, when, especially when you can combo in with it. But I've seen, but Ryu can literally knock someone out doing a Tatsumaki at 140. So, like, he gets you to 100, you've got 40% before he could kill range you easily. What? Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, right? Like we're, getting I was like, I was... we're getting too technical here. Yeah. Me and I'm going to continue this way. Yeah, Tatsumaki, <laughs> and I was like... What, what, as, soon as, as soon as Naruto uses the Uzumaki laser beam... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite one. <laughs> sure, we'll talk about this later. I mean, we'll talk about it later on my channel later. Yeah, I've, I've been but, uh, watching way too much people, way too many people play recently. <laughs> All right, Max, what were you saying? What were you saying after Terry? Uh, we'll just saying game. need for speed heat. That's all I'm saying, man. Okay. Need for speed I played heat. need for speed. You played need for speed, and I know MVG played heat as well. I actually didn't play it. Uh, I'm gonna wait. For the, <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the thirty. Oh. I'm gonna wait for the thirty-five dollar sale. You I was, you gonna, I was gonna. I was gonna pick uh, it up, but come on. I thought man. you were gonna play Dude. it on EA Access. Uh, yeah. No. No. I, I mean, it looks good, and I, I definitely want to pick it up because it looks mm -hmm. really good. And you guys uh, did both good videos on it, so yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely gonna check it out. But Black Friday, thirty five dollars. I, mean, I edited a review for someone and sift through eight hours of footage from it. Ooh. Wait, isn't isn't that game better with microtransactions? I'm hearing. Oh, this is our. Oh, oh just yeah. Wait. Just wait. This It'll is come. insanity. Okay. Polygon posted a, an article that said, uh, what, it, it does it need microtransactions? Yeah, it says that, that the exact title of the article was Need for Speed Heat has no microtransactions and maybe that's bad. It's like, oh what? My gosh. <laughs> so their, their whole thing is that because there's no microtransactions they're terrified that ea like is just sending it off to pasture it's like they don't care like, who cares it's it's out there and and, and then uh and then who you call it came in uh daniel med said that they're they're only expecting to sell i think three to four million 
copies of Need for Speed well, Heat. And that's it. So the weirdest thing about Need for Speed Heat, and it's the thing I really was excited to talk about. So Spawn Wave and I have not actually talked about it much other than to say we both kind of enjoyed it. It feels really different because it honestly... I don't see any electronic art fingerprints on it at all. This right. feels like a completely developer vision. It seems like people sat down, the story is contained, the missions all lead together. It's fun to drive around the city or you can fast travel. The day to night system is super fluid. It, it's weird to play an EA game that doesn't suck. It, it is interesting to, to see that because this, uh, this is from Ghost Games. And they did they did rivals and payback and payback was just ugh. payback yeah was not good and it's interesting that they come back with heat it's almost like ea like i think this was developed like alongside when ea started to get away from loot box and the idea of all of that because i think they mm -hmm. put that on hold for a little bit with the government doing like the oh way yeah it really is fifa obviously has it all over it but i think they were trying to pull back on that with some of their games and i think heat just happened to be there at the right place at the right time because you're right there's there's no microtransactions none of that and i think the marketing may have suffered because of that like they weren't looking to push this that hard because of it but you know what i'm fine if that's what it takes to to get the microtransactions out of this game i'm fine with that i don't I, mind i agree i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna buy it and support it you know hopefully this is the start of you know re re-emerging of the franchise for it to come back you know the way that we remember it so yeah i'm, I'm definitely gonna pick it up yeah, there. You just you, you, when you leave, you pick a day or night, and then you either race for money or tons of money in like circuit training, or you uh, or you go over and you chase and try to crash into the cops and uh, get get reputation that way. Apparently, if we hit 500 likes, Sean's gonna buy the baby off of eBay. I, yes, we gotta hit 500 <laughs> likes within the next couple minutes. So we are at 351. It's 150. I literally have the 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 ebay page pulled up right now it's very expensive but i really just want this more than i want the game wait, okay. are you are hey, wait on, is, it, is it the full special edition so i can no it's, it's literally just the baby pod why don't you just buy the special edition so you get the game too <laughs> look at those locks go up <laughs> it just oh five already done 500 <laughs> Whoa, <holy shit. laughs> all right i'm buying 600. it now. wait how much is the how much is the special edition with the game and and the baby yeah, isn't it like 300 dollars six i thought it was 200 i thought is it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm a lot more there. now. I'm pretty sure it's like 300. 600? People are saying 600 right. in the chat? No look, way. look, chat, chat. No, I just want you to know. For likes. This, oh, okay. this has basically been podcast adoption because of you. He is now a proud <laughs> father of a goo baby. I would never. Oh, I never man. thought I'd see the day with Sean being a father, but I'm proud of you. All right. I think I got to buy it off my phone because for some reason I don't know my password and it's not saved on this computer. But I'll, I'll yeah. buy it right now and I'll show you guys the. Uh, the nice. thing it's expensive it's like 130 bucks but i really want it and like you could almost use it as like a lamp so like you know it has, <laughs> it has two uses a baby lamp I, okay I tim burton I want to get it and just put it in my background. I've been getting all these figurines like at blizzcon when you go to blizzcon they gave you these huge like figurines i i can't help it I, i'm starting to like this kind of crap I was gonna say, Sean, you should look for just to see what the how much the special edition is it's with the two hundred dollars for sixty oh. bucks. You get the game. Yeah, just get that, Sean. So you get the game anyway. Oh, <laughs> can I buy that off Amazon? It's probably sold out. That's here, I, I see it. I see it right here on eBay. Oh, really? Yeah. Here, hold on. I'll drop it in. Let me see. Well, no, they got they got the collector's edition on on Amazon. Oh, there in you stock. go. Okay, yeah. so I'll I'll just buy that. That's cool. Oh, hang on, hang on. It's two hundred dollars on Amazon with the baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Boom. There's the link in the Discord. All right. There you go, Sean. You're in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do Amazon because. Oh shit! It sucks that Monday is a holiday. Yeah, it'll be your Tuesday then. Actually, they might make them deliver on Monday. <laughs> they might. What's Monday? Sometimes they do. Uh, they Veterans like Day. Veterans Day. Oh um, yeah. They might make them deliver. I, I've I've seen I've seen this happen on other ones. Like Memorial Day, they made them deliver. I think. Are you serious? So, if I remember, I got right, a package on Thanksgiving before. Yeah. Me. Jesus. It's so, crazy. Real, real real quick for a moment, I do want to say one last thing about Need for Speed Heat that I do oh, think yeah. that people should be aware about. The physics are 
funky. Um, you can get used to them. There is a little bit of a learning curve. It, I would almost, I, I don't want to say cartoonish. I don't want to say arcadey. Your funky car man. does not, your car does not control like a car. It very much almost feels like a remote control or something. Mm. Like you, you, it's almost like a rocket ship when you're drifting and everything. It's, it's so ridiculous. It's fun once you get used to it. But man, the first two or three hours I played, I would lose a lot of races. I'd be in like last place sometimes well, just because I could not get used to it. I think the AI is a little weird too because sometimes I would do a race and for some reason, one person who was in the race was super fast and you could yeah. not catch them but then i would do the race right away retry it and i i, I won by like you know 500 yards yep. or whatever it was like, i had that too or or i'd have those times where you're like way way ahead like you're like a thousand yards ahead the entire track yeah. and the last second somebody rubber bands and they're right behind you at the <laughs> end it's like how did that happen but yeah. the co the cool thing about that is the amount of cars in there it's like all like neat, neat like older need for speed it, they're yeah. all from like older Need for Speed games. So like I took a picture of that Skyline MVG, like that's in there and it's oh, the right sick. year. And yeah. it, it's, it's it, so it cool. felt like right at the beginning, you get a free car and there's like five cars to choose from. And honestly, as somebody who's played a lot of Need for Speed, I think that's like basically a different one of the models of the last, like all the classic Need for Speed. So it's like... Yeah like the Pontiac there's like a, ch a classic muscle car there's like the little tiny like uh Nissan it, I don't know it, it's cool it feels it sort of feels like uh you know the Super Smash Brothers of racing if you want like an older need for speed feeling game like uh like a carbon or like a most wanted like the first most wanted uh look in the heat yeah. the heat. it's gonna be uh it's gonna be 35 on Black Friday I, I like I like arcade races and look I like Forza Forza Horizon fine but the need for speed series has always had a soft spot for me and yeah. this one sounds like it's a i'm not going to say it's like completely returned to form of the best games ever but it sounds like they're getting back to that formula again and i'm pretty excited about what i'm hearing what i've seen so far the physics stuff aside even that i i can i can mm -hmm. live with it. and they got a uh, they got ferrari to come back so they have ferrari. Yeah. Well, once you get used to it i actually think the physics are really fun it's just a matter of like one you you have to really kind of just go into the deep end and figure out how to swim you know what's weird is I I don't think because I I looked through it Tesla's still not in there. It's weird. I figured they yeah. would have dropped one of their cars in there. Did Did you notice that the the cops will have every single one of the hundred and twenty cars programmed into their vocabulary? So when you're actually running from the police, the cops will be like, "Oh, we got an aggressive driver here. He's in a Nissan GS Seven X." They'll actually say like all the car names. And it, it's oh, that's just, cool. It's a nice little touch that I think really added to it. Of like, it felt like cops were chasing me. I thought that was fun uh what about jordan anything other than death stranding yeah i know a couple people here i know yeah, one of them fine. is out of the room but uh not just playing but i know this came out this week yeah Ooh. i got one this beautiful i think everyone here did unboxing videos on it who got one um not really playing that you know just getting it taken out of the box making a video throwing it back in the box as if i never bought it uh is it me? Yeah. Hey, jordan do you have a another switch light like one of the yes, turquoise. I had the, yeah, I had the it, turquoise one. Is it me or is the screen pop a little more on the Pokemon one? Uh, I, I, you're you're the, about the fifth person who has said that it's brighter. Like yeah, there's, some, there's like there's something about the screen. Like we've already known like some screens are either like warmer or cooler, but like it's definitely it's definitely brighter. But the the fact is, I turned it on once and I put it right back in the packaging in a way. Does it just feel so brighter because the border's comparison. gray and not like a bright color? It could be. It, it could just be it the could color. Could be that. Difference. But I've seen a picture on Twitter that someone took out of it, and you can tell that it's 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 slightly, uh, definitely a bit brighter. Um, other than that, I, I haven't been playing too too much, uh, aside from Death Stranding. Honestly, that's if anything this week. That's what I was putting my time into the last uh, or yesterday and okay. this morning. I, I finally yeah. bought Goose Game. By the way, oh my gosh, I've been playing Untitled Goose oh, Game. Damn right you did. He's <laughs> such an asshole. I love, I just, it's so funny to just like, I was playing it in the airport and it's so fun to just honk at people and just walk up and be like, hey, you dumb kid. Bop, 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 bop. What about, uh, what about Sean? Uh, I've been oh, playing uh, New Super's Lucky Tales, uh, Mario and Sonic at the uh, Olympics. Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. I almost said Winter Olympics. Um, <laughs> He's at some Olympics. sort of Olympics. Some, some sort of Olympic event. Um, yeah, really, just those, those two things this week. As far as how you like, how you like Super Lucky's Tale? It honestly, it honestly surprised me. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely easy, but 
I think the end game stuff is really fun. And that that haunted um, amusement park level is uh, one of the most creative levels I've seen in a 3D mm. platformer. I, I, I love that freaking level. I love the wrestling world, too, because all the wrestling references and stuff like that. It's it, you know, it's not a it's not a Super Mario Odyssey or, a, you know, a God tier 3D platformer, but it, it's very, very it, solid. It's a very it, good game. Is it better than like something like ukulele, the 3D, like the original ukulele? I would say it's more streamlined. I think it's a control. I think a control is better. Yeah, like con the controls are really yeah. good. I like the there's like a, a, there's 3D levels. There's 2.5D levels. There's 2D levels where you can only move left or right. There's yes. uh, runner levels where he's running and you're just controlling them. And then there's like weird top down levels as well. Like there's great level variety. It's 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 good. You know, it's very easy. You know, it'll it only took me about five hours to get through the game, um, just the main stuff. But there is stuff to go back and do like other levels and stuff like that. And then there is end game stuff that actually are additional challenges and actually like you'll actually die a little bit playing those. So it's actually kind of fun. But yeah, I, I was really impressed. I probably end up uh, picking up a physical edition of that game just because I think they did a good job with it. There is a uh, there's a demo on the eShop as well for that. So if people want to try it, I got a code for it. I, I, yeah. I, I, the, it I liked it on, when it came out on the Xbox one. I remember I did a video on it there, but my one problem with it was that the character just was just didn't feel unique, felt very generic. Yes. Um, and that's that's something that is definitely a thing. You know, the the character and story, it's kind of like because eh. it was like it was Microsoft's thing for a while. Right. And then they brought mm -hmm. over the switch. I thought to myself, I said, what if they gave them conquer and they let them use conquer that would have been cool but but it, it yeah. wouldn't be the conquer that like everybody wants oh no i mean like play. make that thing mature rated and you know let's go oh <laughs> let's get, uh because they they have the platforming down they even they have like all the controls all that stuff was really really good it's just i i did not like the character or the world that the character was in it was just uh, as generic and bo like boring to a degree um but the game itself like the core game was pretty good so um and then you did not get death stranding sean It'll be here Tuesday. All right. We'll hear more about this from Sean on Tuesday. Jesus. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see that baby. Oh, okay. That's all I want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Please, please Sick just start individual. the video. Turn around and be like, this is an abortion. <laughs> the video game, I mean. <laughs> Demonetized. Yeah, uh, right. Pretty much. Man. What about uh, what, what about Nate? What do you got for us? Aside from Death Stranding, um, Race with Ryan. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> did you get did you get the did you get the physical copy? No, oh, I got a digital copy. Well the physical copy I believe comes with a car. Oh <gasps> that's great. Yeah, that's better a than new a baby. Nissan Sentra. I saw it's better it. than a baby. I saw it at Walmart. It was like well, it was, comes in like it? it comes in a full box. I, what, what wow, that? you have children. No they might have liked it. They might watch Ryan. How many likes for the car now? A thousand? <laughs> <laughs> one thousand likes and Sean will buy the car. <laughs> no, I'm not buying Race with Ryan. <laughs> yes, one thousand likes and Sean has to buy a Race with Ryan with the car. No, I don't want this it. You can give it to your son you just bought in the incubator. <laughs> Put it and right next to it. It's first Christmas gift. And 10,000 likes will donate $10,000 to Team Trees. Wow. Good thing I'm only here till a little while longer. Good thing I don't have ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, it'd be like it'd be like a group thing. Good thing John kicked me off the spawncast. Good thing there's ten of us and I gotta leave. No, I'm like this. Don't worry, Jordan. We'll make it in ratio to subscribers. So. Oh, fantastic! So I have to plant Fuck. like one tree. <laughs> I'm barely planting anything. Thank God. <laughs> so, how was the game, Nate? Oh God. Uh, it's not good. Uh, Ryan? I heard it wasn't very good. I mean, it, you can race, and then if you beat Ryan, he comes on the screen in like very low quality audio, and it's like, "Darn, I'll get you next time." And then a talking <laughs> penguin shows up for some reason. Like, I know what I did wrong there. I'm like, "Well, I'm racing as you, so you won." I'm not sure what you did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like a random moose, and there's a bird called like Mr. Pecker. I don't know what that is. Oh, about Pecker. Mr. Pecker? Yikes! My favorite VIP part about this on that channel. This game is definitely for like three-year-olds. So I just love oh, hearing yeah. a thirty-year-old man like break down. Like, let me tell you about the plot holes in Racing with Ryan. Hey, I went right to hard mode. I was like, let's see how hard this oh. game can actually be. It's, I mean, it's rubber banded as all hell. It's 
Yeah, if you're like four years old, it's probably the greatest game ever because Ryan talks to you, but then you realize mm. he only says about two things. So wait, ra racing with Ryan or Crash Team Racing, which one's harder? <laughs> you gotta ask Sean that. <laughs> Crash oh, Team man. Ryan. That's great. <laughs> yeah, have, that's I the collab we need. Yeah. Oh man, anything else, Nate? <laughs> Or is that no, that, that Death just, Stranding, right? Yeah, that and Death Stranding. Okay. What about, M what about MVG? What do we got here? Uh, I'm finishing up Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I'm getting pretty close. And oh, yeah. What do uh, you, yeah. you think of Luigi's Mansion? You like it? It's. I think it's one of the best games that came out this year, honestly. Um, Thank you! It, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So um, I'm about seven or eight hours into the game now. Do you know I what? Mean, do you like remember what floor? floor? What, do you remember oh, what floor you're on? I don't, I don't remember. I, I, I beat the B2 boss. That was the tough oh, one. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm just a little, a The controls on it are just so rough. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I, I, I dig the game and, and obviously Death Training, which we're going we're gonna to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion is good, though. Don't sleep on No, People shouldn't sleep podcast. on Luigi's Mansion. Good it's game. It's excellent. excellent I'll, I'll be curious to see what you think about it, Max, when you when you start playing I'm, through it. I'm super good. I, I bought it just because last week y'all were all talking so highly of it. And didn't somebody say, aren't the early numbers, this is already like one of the fastest selling Switch games of the year or something? Yes, it, that was in the UK. UK. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. UK. But I have Stop. a feeling it'll be pretty good in the MPDs as well. So. Stop yeah, holding the case. Just put the cartridge in your Switch so it can download and update okay. and you don't have oh. an excuse and you haven't played it yet. You You'll be you'll be surprised, uh, Max, when you put that on like your on your TV, just how clean it looks. Like it is a cl it's clean. It is so, so. nice. I mean, yep. they're only rendering like one small room at a time, so they could do like the but, max quality. But of like that the room. the animations are really good. There's a lot of good oh, stuff. Oh yeah. So you'll yeah. Was he mocap? Because I saw like certain like cutscenes, and he's like moving all weird. I'm like, why does this look so like weird for a Mario <laughs> character? It, like I mean, motion cap good. Luigi. It looks good. You put that on your. I was just saying, Max, you had your headphones off. Put it on your TV, like dock it. You'll be you'll be surprised. Well, I'm. Me. My plan is to beat it uh, all docked. I want to record a bunch of footage just because if this ends up being one of the best games of the year, I want to be able to talk about it at the end. Like, I mean, let's face it. We're having to we're coming down to the wire. We're going to start considering what are the games of the year. So I want to record yes. footage for that. Yes. I mean, the awards are what? Barely over a month away. We yep, should be getting exactly. the nomination soon, right? I would think. Yeah, so. it's it's going to be all Death Stranding. Baby. It might be. It might be next. Like it might be next week. <gasps> Not this week. The following week, right? Because they got to give us a couple weeks to like. Yeah, like a month out. That sounds about right. Yeah, it might be this week then coming up. Last know. year, oh, last year oh. they invited me, and this year they were like, "You're in the industry, so you could buy discounted tickets." Oh, yeah. Not bad. Oh, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Uh, so Good guy, yeah. Jeff. <laughs> they said, "Would you break a million subscribers? We'll also put you in Death Stranding." What about uh? What about Evan? What do we got? Uh, other than Smash, of course, trying to knock the rust off of that. I picked up Song of Horror because I was really feeling like playing a decent horror game. It's episodic, but it's coming out quickly. Like I think two new episodes are coming out uh by this is on Steam? early next month. Yeah, it's oh. a fixed camera angle horror puzzle game set Eldritch you, Horror style. You didn't. I you, they emailed me. You didn't. You didn't consider plugging the PS4 Pro in to play Death Stranding. No, I've been watching a buddy of mine play. Okay. He's up to nine hours, I think, in game. So I've been watching okay. him go through it. Okay, gotcha. I didn't know if that was going to get that PS4 Pro plugged in. Nah, I want. I want to try it on <laughs> PC because my buddy made up a made a good point. The Decima engine, it hasn't really come to PC, right? Like they that is correct. Yeah, no, exactly. So yeah. as far as we know, this might be the first one to come to PC, and I kind of want to just see how it is. Like I can watch the gameplay beforehand, but I want to see how it feels once it hits PC. And it's going to go to Steam as well, so it's not yep. going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive. Mm -hmm. There you go. Evan's on it for the PC version. Then all right, all right, gotcha, gotcha. I'll probably double dip on the PC as well, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see what that looks like on a on a on a strong video. That's gonna be interesting. That'll be fun. Uh, Austin, what have you been up to, man? You been playing? Uh, I've actually been continuing playing Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, okay. How's that going? Which I work out with my trainer every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the days that I'm not too sore, I do about 45 to 60 minutes of that, so it's going well. And when I'm not doing those things and talking about the very very small amount of official information about Pokemon. I'm literally going over every piece of detail of old announcements and stuff, and I'm writing it down, and I'm like, what could this mean? And then I write down, like, five explanations, and as soon as I get the game, content time. Okay. So I'm, in, right. I'm in prep mentality, if that makes any sense. You're ready. Got it. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Getting ready for Pokemon. But I did play Luigi's Mansion, and that was fantastic. 
it's a good game. It's a good game. Yeah. It, it'll it'll win so, it'll win something at the awards show. I don't know. I don't know what it'll win. It'll win something. It, it might even win like best family, family game, game or something. Yeah. Best family game. Well, yeah, maybe. Y'all could be excited. Family game. Yeah. Yo yo. I think you're gonna like it a lot, Max. It's really really cool. I know. Well, and, and you know, I recently uh, in March for the first time ever, I beat Luigi's Mansion two. So I'm like, I'm really prepped. Is I did Luigi's oh, okay. Mansion one, and then I did Luigi's Mansion two. So this is very much like it feels cool that I'm finally beating all three of these games in uh, 2019. I'm so happy. I wonder if it'll be considered an action game. I only did like two to three hours of the second one. This one, yeah. the first 20 minutes of this game is going to be better than the entire game that you just played. Yeah, well, yeah, I had a lot of problems with two. I wanted to beat it just because I tried to beat it several times and I kept losing copies. So I was like, now that I had a copy, I wanted to try and finish it. Luigi's Mansion 2 was just so stop and start. And I've heard that Luigi's Mansion 3 goes back to just one big, great map. So I'm excited. Mm. Yeah, it's not as... Go? It's not as coherent as the first one. Because oh. with the first one, you would just walk into a room, walk into a room. Instead, it, think of like Super Mario 64, where you have the oh, different okay. that separate the worlds, but you can quickly go between them. That's kind of yeah. how this is with the different floors. Yeah, the but Luigi's the floors Mansion. are so different. Like some of them are just like, yeah. Like, yeah, like really I said, really they're cool. like different paintings in Super yeah. Mario 64. Well, some that's a get, good analogy. Really, okay. Some of them get crazy, though. Some of them are really cool. Some of them so. are long. Some of them are short. It's really yeah, weird. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. I think well, that, there's uh, only one that requires you to go, but be- one like part of the game that requires you to go between floors. Mm. Uh, yeah, one thing, but it happens twice. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, but, that, you, that description, Austin, I'm so hyped. I'm playing that tonight. Well, I'm going to play a little more Death Stranding, but uh, definitely yeah. I'm going to get my Luigi going. Yeah. Also, all of us Wait, are saying what? it's a beautiful game. You'll agree within the first five minutes. Oh, yeah, oh, because yeah. the opening like cutscene, you're like, what? and then you realize it's basically like being rendered in real time. So yeah. it's pretty cool. The, all the cuts, almost all the cutscenes are rendered in real time. And you're like, wow, they put this level of like lighting quality in the yeah. actual game. Yep. So <gasps> and it's it's next level game. So it's not like uh, it's not like Nintendo Nintendo. So it's, it's pretty cool to see next level games do that. Um, and then, uh, hey, Miss Clicks here. Hi. Sorry, guys. I just got home. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? We are good. We were oh, we were just actually finishing up what we were playing. But did you did you get a chance to play yeah, Death yeah. Stranding? No, I picked okay. it up at Best Buy yesterday. Uh, no, this week I only got to do finish Luigi's Mansion. Great day. Oh, yeah. We were talking yeah, about we just, it. yeah, we were just talking about uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I knew like I already didn't want to have high hopes for it when they did the whole event and they decked the whole thing out. But it was like you could tell they were, you know, putting their eggs in one basket with this game. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad it worked out. Uh, and then Terry. So we were doing Terry stuff. Oh, OK, uh, cool. For DLC. Yeah, we're talking about Luigi's Mansion. Good game. Good game. And we talked about mm-hmm. Terry as well. Um, yeah, yeah. But cool. Good. Good to see you could jump in. Right. Because Sean's going to be leaving in 10 minutes. Sean, 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15. 15. Yeah. So. Sean, where are you going? Uh, I got a friend coming by to hang out. Yeah. A lady friend. <laughs> right. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Swipe right to hang out. I guess. <laughs> is it, is it Hakeem Olajuwon <laughs> again? Y'all playing basketball tonight? <laughs> you should show her the baby. A long time. Well, well, I'll have the baby that. and ask what she thinks and be like, listen, if tonight goes well, when you come back Tuesday, yeah, all this can be yours. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, Evan, you want to ask the Discord question while I pull up some Super Chats before we start talking about Death Stranding? Uh, we'll start off. I mean, since we're going to start about Death Stranding, I guess. Yes. Uh, Kojima Productions, since it's kind of its own company, are there any IPs that would be interesting to give them to maybe bring back and maybe re-envision through the Kojima filter? No. Silent uh, Hill. No. I mean, this... I, I would really love... Please, no. God is like, God. <laughs> no, ser- seriously, something Kojima invented and then Kojima willingly dropped a long time ago is Boktai, The Sun is in Your Hands. I would love to see if, uh, if he got that from Konami because it's been dead for like 15, 20 years. I would love to see him do another like vampire shooter. That would be so yeah. cool. Or Snatcher, or you know, man, I was gonna say Snatcher, but I have a feeling that Konami Kojima relationship is just like it's never coming back. Uh, It's it's coming back. Back. I thought about Snatcher. I was like, that'd be cool if he got another shot, but Konami is... Uh, I'd, I'd be well, shocked if that ever happened. Well, they, there's some rumor that's been going around that uh, that they may start letting people make stuff with their IP, where they're going to kind of do what Sony does with Spider-Man, where it's like, all right, you okay. can make whatever you want with this, but we get 20% of all the profit or whatever. That would make sense. I actually prefer that, because... Uh, well, I know. Metal Gear Survive. Yeah. Well, Great game. I, 
I would just love like it'd be cool to see. Uh, I was going back and playing a bunch of old Silent Hills recently or the different Silent Hill games. And it's interesting that a bunch of those started being done by different studios in different part of the world, like Homecoming, Downpour. And some mm. of them are terrible games, but it's interesting to see how different they are. It'd be cool to get that again. I want him to do a Dead Space game. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> but Dead Space, cool. Especially yeah. after playing Death Stranding, I think he could nail. Oh, my, dude, it'd be, uh, it'd be Nano Machines. Dead in it. Anything yeah, exactly. with the word dead. Yeah. Anything with the word dead. He's Doctor Death. The good news is OJ. They wouldn't have him walk very far in uh, in I, Dead Space. I'm sorry. I think that's a terrible idea. Dead Space is about gameplay. You know, <laughs> like that's that's a terrible idea in my opinion. We're about to get into this. I love the Death Stranding gameplay. Oh man! All right, hold on, hold on. Let me go through. Let me. Go well, through I can't wait to talk about. I've been teasing my thoughts on Twitter. Saving it for tonight. Oh, man. There we go. Uh, let me go through Super Chats, then we'll talk about Death Stranding. OJ had to clear his glasses off for a minute there. Honestly, I'm surprised we didn't just set one thing as a topic today. This is going to be... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to play this game. He's so nervous. Oh, Matthew, <laughs> Matthew Hammond says, uh, everyone needs to watch the parody Yoshi Stranding. Uh, oh, that was good. good <laughs> video, Fish fan says, oh, RGT85, Deli Meat of the Week. Uh, well, roast beef. I have actually... Again? Back- Again? <laughs> Well, no, it's been ham for like the past. No, it's years. been roast beef like every every, every week. week I swear. Swear. No, the past there, two, the past two weeks oh, have been God. ham, and I went with roast beef. It's very tender. Too. Somebody check the tapes. Go back to last week. See what he said. <laughs> I'm saying it's like ham. I don't know about that. Uh, I, don't know. I was I wasn't bullshit. here last week until the end. Because when I was at the Halloween party. Which was two weeks ago. You said ago. roast beef. You said no, roast beef at the Halloween I wasn't party. on the show. I was in the chat and I said it was ham. Mm, let's check the count. <laughs> so check the tapes. Uh, uh, oh, can, man. can someone fill me in on what's going on here? <laughs> no. Uh, we, have meat, we have RGT's meat of the week yeah. segment and he just gives a meat recommendation. Sometimes it's roast beef. Sometimes it's ham. Apparently we're back at roast beef, even though it's always been at roast beef. <laughs> Hmm. I'm telling you. Just, do, do, I, do, I do remember no into, ham. Do you venture into like fine imported uh, This is Sean like, we're Italian talking about. Salamis. No, stop it. <laughs> no, this is uh, gas station roast beef. Corner store, yeah. No, this, yeah. Is, this is the freaking... Um, we're not talking uh, like prosciutto here. No, this is high. This, dude, you know how much a, a, a fucking half pound of this shit is? It's like seven bucks. Three dollars. No, it's seven bucks. <laughs> so you getting ripped off. Yeah, for some uh, man. No, it's, it's legit. It's legit. Uh, okay. Jack says it's been talked. It's talked about how Pokemon will sell well with all the controversy. But what do you guys think the Metacritic score will end up being? We're actually going to save that for the Pokemon talk. We will take a shot at guessing the Metacritic just for fun. Because that I assume that's going to be up at Wednesday, Thursday. The reviews will be up. Uh, Word on the street is the embargoes are going to be pushed to very, very, very late. The same oh, wow. thing that they did with Ultra Sun, Ultra really? Moon. Oh. Like 9 p.m. Embargo, Thursday. My embargo was allowed to go up, I think it was either 9, 12, or 3 the day before, which actually means that like an hour after my video comes out, Japan releases the game. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll, they're going to do something similar with the current leaks. Okay, we'll talk about our guests on the Metacritic score to see if anyone gets it right. Uh, Joe says, oh, you've been talking about Black Friday sales lately, but what are the chances of there being some of the digital and PC guys, mainly outside of Steam? Amazon right. may have some that are marked down well, because they sell codes. Don't all the PlayStation, uh, like all the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo online stores always do Black Friday stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, they, yeah. he's saying for the uh, for the uh, digital and PC people playing like PC. The Epic Games oh, okay. PC. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, GOG but, will definitely GOG. Have yep. stuff, yeah, and GOG Epic, Epic will definitely have some stuff as well. So yeah so i i would definitely expect gog to have something though um i would yeah. check that i don't know if i mean steam might do something um but if you were looking outside of steam i would say gog is probably your best bet definitely uh agent quato says free super chat hopefully everyone's doing well thank you agent quato uh jonathan reed says great story rgt thank you uh, <laughs> says, uh please play indie game aldred knight for switch thanks okay aldred knight 
Uh, Neo Retro says, what do you guys think Nintendo's plans for holiday 2020 will be? Do they have something going on to counter Sony and Microsoft? Probably Breath of yeah. the Wild too. Breath of the Wild. Games, games, games. Uh, Wait, mm-hmm. what? I, I was distracted and I heard Breath of the Wild too. No, what do, what do you guys, they, they asked what, what are the plan, what are Nintendo's plans for holiday 2020 to plans. counter Sony and Microsoft? Probably games. Breath of the Wild too. Wild too. Yeah, that's what I assume. Bayonetta 3 probably in there as well. I think we're going to get either a news or a reveal i mean guaranteed february maybe even video game awards they're gonna have it'd be interesting to see the video game awards they could have the last smash character there so i mean that'd be fitting because last video game awards was just literally promoting smash that came out at midnight well now people are now people are teasing stuff for the game awards like they've been hearing things so uh there was joker last year that was the big thing was joker was Mm -hmm. the game awards last year yeah that's true by the nintendo yeah then we had uh then we had what you call it too uh ultimate alliance 3 that was kind of neat see that there too but by nintendo you're right it was definitely uh definitely joker hey i liked ultimate alliance 3 that was a good game it it makes sense yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens at the Game Awards. Uh, and then we had Rowler, uh, five dollars a message. Thanks, Rowler. And then we had Thanos saying Nate is about to drop some truth about Death Stranding. Maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. If you uh, are which way is Nate going? I don't know. This is it. Oh, this is I know. Nate. I know. No one, the only person's <laughs> opinion we know right now is actually no Max's and OJ's. Those are the two opinions we know right now. I think right. Everyone else's is a uh, well. I guess Sean's. I got five dollars on <laughs> Nate talking about Death Stranding. It's gonna start with. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> That's uh, an easy five bucks right there. <laughs> you uh, think, wouldn't you, Scott? Scott, hey, says but you don't know if that's a good or a bad. You know, so it doesn't matter. It's just a watch him. Watch him inhale. <gasps> yeah, yeah, preparation. Let <laughs> we'll me tell you about why it's great. Scott <laughs> says, uh, "You two gave me this for free towards Nate's webcam." I mean, he has a webcam. Doesn't Nate have a webcam? He has a webcam because he has a mask it. on. <laughs> yeah, I have a webcam. I just uh, choose not to use it. He just doesn't use it. Um, it's his. Ed, it's his choice. Ed, Ed, Ed Endora says, yeah, uh, "Death look Stranding." At this guy. This guy's smart. <laughs> Death Stranding has so much cutscenes. At what point is it like streaming a movie and subject to copyright? Well, apparently the people are having a hard time because there are uh, music tracks that you can't turn off. Yeah, the game, the <laughs> no, game but they are, are they, they are great. I hope so. They need a streaming mode. I think basically. they tweeted it saying okay. that they were working on that. They had problems yeah, with I that with God of War last year. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. The game yeah. has I, copy. I got copyright claimed by like three or four different. Oh jeez, really? Because yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think the thing is, a lot of times games will like have a soundtrack and some like original music or mm. some uh, like big already done music everything in this mm-hmm. game it seems like it seems like all the music is like all right now we're gonna have this band come in and play a yeah. random song so. oh. uh yeah okay that makes sense so, so it's all like real conference. music yeah yeah, yeah. and come the collector's edition hold on. hold on we'll talk about oh, that you get, a, you get a digital copy of the uh the album i just you, want the damn the baby edition. i don't care about the other crap i'm just saying <laughs> I don't I don't care care about about like the game uh, you're gonna want the soundtrack uh it's a great soundtrack agent agent quato agent quato says smash is for good boys and girls sakurai sakurai 2019 it, it is no my no my good boys and girls did, did you hear him that. like freak out on the the japanese rating board about that he was mad at saro yeah. <laughs> yeah that was funny uh uh mr perfect cell says what's everyone's game of the year mine is re2 remake resident evil 2 remake the year is not over yet. Oh, that's uh, true. Uh, uh, that's true. That's true. Uh, I, I'm kind of having a three-way tie of Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, one game I don't want to talk about yet, and then of course I really, really liked uh, Judgment. Uh, Judgment, huge fan of Judgment. Still, I wonder what that secret game is. I need to. I need to get. I need to see Star Wars. Beat? I need to see Star Wars remake. My determination. All right. EA's not going to send me that game early, so I'm at the wait. <laughs> uh yeah i need i need to see star i need to see uh star wars though that'll be that'll be just so i can round everything out but uh uh, game of the year is gonna be interesting because i think i think you might see some uh i mean luigi's mansion not gonna get dropped in there but you might see like astro or fire fire them thrown in there and then you'll see sakura yeah oh definitely Uh, yeah sakura will be in there that'll be Mm -hmm. be interesting Uh, garfield cart garfield cart what about uh, with ryan Devil May Cry? How how is that? I didn't play it. I think Devil May Cry is gonna. gonna, I think that's gonna win action game. I get yeah. Well, no, I gave it a ten out of ten. I think it may have a shoe, and I think some websites are gonna give it to it hundred percent. And then uh, Death Stranding will 
take the, up the next three spots in the nominations. Uh, <laughs> I haven't got the play yet, so it's like, soundtrack. depending on how that goes, you know, oh, whether or not he's man. in bed with uh, Kojima. Jeff, oh, that's nope. going to be so it interesting. better not even be nominated. He's going to get the new uh, Kojima. Get the new, uh, I can't do anything. Board. Oh, I can't wait till these nominations come out. Oh, it, it, man. It shouldn't even, that'd be the lowest rated game ever. This like, is going to be, oh, it's going to be so interesting. Because um, Smash came out after last Game Awards, it's eligible for this year's, right? But it's not. It's going to, it's going to win best fighting game It'll yeah it's not, i don't think game. it's game of the year it'll win best no, no. fighting game because it the same thing happened do you think uh, mortal kombat 11 though i i still think smash will win best mm. fighting game though because it's i mean it's rated much higher it has a lot more stuff to it in terms even the of promotional content. stuff for that mortal kombat's promotional stuff. i think there's a bigger yeah. community around it than mortal kombat yeah, 11. it does come down to some voting too but is, is smash and, actually a fighting game Oh, oh or is it a party say, game? I'm gonna say it is, yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean it, it just outsold Street Fighter 2 as the best fighting game of all time. So that breaks my heart. According I'm to who saying, if, if people smash controllers when they lose, it's a fighting game. That's the rule. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Well, if you're doing horror, horror, on Terry, games, it became a fighting game. It became a fighting game, game when game. Terry when, when Terry was released. It's not a fighting game because Terry's in the game. Nah. Yes. Yeah. So it's because of basement two and Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion is a fighting game? <laughs> Dude, those yeah. controls were so sensitive. How, how many Joy Cons oh you rip? Uh, Worst. Yeah, so the game awards gonna be interesting, but we'll we'll have a whole podcast around the the game of the year stuff and trying to figure out who's gonna win what. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Christopher says, any chance Smash gets at least a nomination at Game of the Year? People forget since it's come out, it's the highest rated game on Metacritic. Surely it deserves more than best fighting game. I, fighting games just never win Game of the Year. Yeah, so, but just, I think the fighting game like, really done what Smash Ultimate has done. No, I have a lot of characters. But, but, I, mean, uh, I, think, I think it sucks because people want like involvement or a story of some sort. Like if mm -hmm. even if you had even just a little bit more like subspace emissary type effect again, I think maybe mm -hmm. you know you had, had rolled. I feel like it's hard. <laughs> have like yeah. two full minutes of story. It was great, you know. <laughs> but if they I mean, had had a, a little bit of that more i feel like people would have kind of put it more into that category they're but just, for me myself i have it hard yeah. putting it in they're the just, they're just the genres year. just have a hard time winning game of the year sports yeah. racing games mm -hmm. uh jrpgs that's why it's such a big deal that persona was up there well pu uh, right. puzzlers i love puzzle yeah. games there's never going to be a puzzle game that gets any award except for best puzzle hey game. you know what F maybe fire emblem breaks that jrpg streak you know maybe I, it doesn't the, the writing know. for that game and like the amount that they had to put in i wouldn't be surprised you know that's my front runner with the yeah games. fire emblem's really, really good, good game yeah awkward silence it'll be interesting it'll be interesting <laughs> that game, when the game of the year stuff comes out it'll, it'll be interesting not enough houses yeah not, not enough houses. <laughs> not Only enough three. houses. It has, it has plenty more. of gameplay, though. You know, Listen, it could have, it's on the Switch. So they could have put at least ten houses in there. It has plenty yeah. of yeah. gameplay. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, X X says, uh, can we talk about Killer Queen? It's a plus game. Nate really likes that. I'm gonna get it on Black Friday because it's gonna be fifteen bucks. Yeah, yeah so you're gonna get Killer fun. Queen Black on Black Friday. Ooh. Hey. It, was made, it was made for it. <laughs> it was made for Black Friday. Yeah, uh, I'm going to grab that though on Black Friday just because it's so cheap. It's uh, it's a good pickup. Uh, Spaxer says, OK, but when are we getting DMC three and four on Switch? DMC three will probably be. I assume that's next and that's soon. But uh, yeah. I don't know about four. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know four, but I think three is like that'll probably be like early next year or something. It's uh, probably going to be the only one I buy. And hopefully they'll bring out Onimusha two and three as Ooh, well. That'd be cool if they did those. Three, about, yeah. three is the fucking shit. But it's got the it's got the actor guy in it. Jean Russo. <laughs> yeah, Jean, <laughs> what's his name? Jean Russo or Jean yeah. Reno? Jean Reno. Jean Reno. It. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Oh. Any, anyone think Outer Worlds is getting nominated? I. Yeah. I Ooh. think it'll get. It'll be nominated for something. I think. I don't think it'll be Game of the Year, but it'll be nominated. I think for something. What for game what? RPG? Because they, oh, no, because, they're, because they usually do best new IP or something, right? True. Something, something like, like that, that, yeah. Yeah, but Untitled Goose Game has that. I think oh. Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> I think I think that's gonna win any. I think that's gonna win any game of the year. Yeah, yeah. easy. I think do you so. think we're gonna get a sequel to Goose Game? Next yeah. Year? Yes. The oh, Goose yeah. The money it's, that they made yeah. off of that budget. Absolutely. It's, it's it's definitely gonna be called the the gooseiest of Luciest uh, or something. I do. They need to have a. And Katana oh, oh. Zero might be in there for 
indie game of the year too. Oh, I don't know. Kadence of Hyrule. Good, but yeah, it's memory of it, man. Oh. I don't. Oh, yeah, oh Kadence of Hyrule. I think Kadence of Hyrule. Kadence of Hyrule was fun. It was nowhere near as big as Untitled Goose Game. Death Stranding is a new IP. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's gonna be taking up. That's gonna be taking up half the spots on Game of the Year. Technically, I'm just saying. Technically, <laughs> technically speaking, I'm not wrong. Death Stranding is an indie game. Well, no, because yes. so Sony funded. No, it. Sony, Sony, Sony funded yeah, it. Sony funded it. It depends what you want it's, to. What it depends how you built, want to decipher it. Decide on, it's from an indie studio. Indie studio but it's built. But it's built on their engine. By loopholes. There matter. was only one guy who made it, right? But it's not yeah, a real exactly. game. That's what Kojima said. Well, I made yeah, his name. His name is in the opening five five hours like forty five times. It, it Every is, time there's like it. silence on screen, all of a sudden it's like the well, air was made by. <laughs> it, it is funny because literally, literally like thirty five minutes into the game, there's this time where like Sam Bridges <laughs> is walking down these stairs dramatically, and out of the <laughs> mist appears it's a story and concepts by Hedia. Yeah. It's like, are we still doing credits? Oh yeah. man, yeah, nice it takes a while I mean, to what, get to that. What about uh, No Man's Sky? That's an indie game, right? Yeah, but that's that a was, uh, that was, that was like an update. Wasn't that yeah. fun? Awesome. Astral Chain. I, yeah. That could Overwatch, be action. They said Overwatch one or what was it? They had like that's Fortnite continued. or Overwatch. No, you're it, Sh Overwatch Sean's one right. Year, yeah, like two, three years ago. Well, no, Sh Sean's right. They they invented a new award. I can't remember which program did it, but it's it was ongoing. It was ongoing. ongoing. Yeah, ongoing, ongoing. game. Mm -hmm. I I definitely think No Man's Sky is getting that this year. One hundred percent. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah, that's a completely different game now. It is. Yeah. They, they found did. the sky. <laughs> they, they found the sky. The Get off. You're, done. You're, you're done. Put on a condom. You're done. Get out. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> David, David says, what, what are y'all getting uh, Review Tech USA on the show? We've had Rich on a couple times. So you can get I see on. some people want Johnny December Moore. December 21st. Uh, Happy Console Gamer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll get him on here. I'll get him on I'll, here. I can hit him up. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. get them on here. That'd be cool. Be cool. Uh, and then Aron says Astral Chain Game of the Year. All right, here we go. I love. I love. Not enough motorcycle. Two out of ten. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> I was actually surprised. I thought they were gonna throw more in, and it was only like one and a half parts. Mm. But it was good. Yep. It was good. The, the story was pretty shallow, but it still got me good. Uh, good. let's. All right, so I'll come back to super chats a little later on. Let's move over to Death Stranding. And yes. welcome to a two-hour discussion. Yeah, I'm, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it that long, and we're not gonna. We're not gonna right. spoil anything right. massive. So for, do we want to set a cutoff point? time where we just end it? <laughs> we just I mean, thirty so minutes. Brief. Let's put thirty minutes on the clock. We're, we're gonna, gonna go on controversy text, text directly into Pokemon. You know what? I, I, I did a huge. Bit. Let, let me go ahead and go before you. Yeah, get yeah, please, okay. please. So you can walk away while the city burns behind you. It's great. Let's so go everyone, enjoy the show. Um, check out my videos on my channel. I'll be back next week for the full show. Go watch AEW after the show as well. I'll see you Bye, guys Sean. next week. Bye, Sean. No, but we have to watch Logan Paul punch KSI and KSI punch Logan Paul. I hope you're on your date. Who? <laughs> right. <laughs> Double lose. Give them oh, the baby. They both say, win after they get their bank, their paycheck. I, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. in an hour. Okay. Uh, a bunch of people in chat were talking about. So I did a big video on it. It's kind of blowing up, and I'm really thank you everybody in the. So many people in chat are saying. On Logan Paul. No, no, about uh, I death did a, a death training video. I did a death training video yesterday, and I've seen a bunch of people in chat saying like, I don't even watch that many Dreamcast guy videos. This was a good one. I I'm just gonna say right up front, I like Death Stranding a lot. It is not <gasps> a fun game. It is not something that makes me like <laughs> laugh or smile. I really like the ambience though. I like the sneaking, I like the monsters, I like the music a lot. But it is not something that you like at the, after a long day at work. I'm not like, gee willikers, time to go join my buddy Sam Bridges. It's like, <laughs> no, it's time to put on my serious hat for serious games. And I kind of like that. What's wrong, Jordan? <laughs> I'm just waiting to say my opinion, man. I've been holding it. in. I'm like, it's do not do Borderlands it. on, 3. Ah. Do, it. I, I, do it, Jordan. Shit all over my dreams. My mouth is open. Do it. <laughs> Death Stranding okay. is the worst. It's actually amazing. I love it. What? I knew, <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have to so come in and do this now. Astral Chain Max. is trash. Fire Max. Emblem is trash. Smash Brothers is trash. <laughs> Death Stranding is a, okay, okay. Max, Jordan, <laughs> do it. I'm Nate. sorry to do this. Okay. I'm sorry. Is clear. Do it. Nate, I'm sorry. Me. I have to do this. But Death Stranding is amazing. <laughs> the turn. Max. The turn. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh wait my minute. God. Yes. Wow. Max. 
<laughs> Jordan, Nate, no. my this opinion on Death Stranding. Hit me. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Hashtag Australia facts. Let's go. So good. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about and gush about. And can I just say, I'm not going to get into a pretentious talk of why I think this game is artistically beautiful and why it, it, it makes sense and works. I just want to say where it finally clicked and I understood what Kojima was going for was when I put the game down on pause for a second and had to go do something. I came back and then more stuff appeared on the map from other players online. Uh -huh. I started leaving stuff. Yes. It's, the, it's the connection aspect. Yes. And oh my gosh, is it brilliant? It works. The dude, ambience dude. of the game makes sense. It is. It is. We, the gameplay is not great. Like I get that. I get that argument. But it's. I love it. I love the nothingness. How, it makes sense. Just, Somebody. You, the people in my game have built a whole highway system of the generators. So we're mm -hmm. riding our bikes and we're never losing energy. We're just driving through the whole system. There's bridges. Everything's connected. It's amazing. I noticed uh, something that I really like is if you forget to pause it and you just set the controller down for a second, Sam will actually start telling you to play the game and he'll get mad. I, I left it sitting down when I was eating dinner the other night and I came in and he looked at the screen and went, really? You know what? Fine. I'm just meditating. And he just sat down on a rock and just like waited for me. I don't know. I, I love that. Mm, the online community aspect of this game is, is excellent. It takes like the whole thing from Dark Souls and just elevates it to this whole new level where you're building a bridge. You don't have the materials. You come back. Somebody else built the bridge. Yeah, and and it's literally other things you need. They're building roads. They're building generators. It's like it actually has a sense of community. And then you have the likes. Yeah, the yeah. like yeah. system, everything. But I mean, it, it, it finds an explanation. It's a game you... I see why people are playing the first few hours. They're like, I don't mm -hmm. get this. This game isn't for me. But once you get to like chapter three, chapter four, and, every, and the world opens up, and you get the if, whole connection aspect going, the game becomes something different. If you started the game and got through it day one, like if you started yesterday and stopped playing, you're missing out. The game is evolving every second literally you put it on pause you come back there's new stuff in the area to look at and do that it generates it is such a brilliant way to connect with people and the more you give likes the more likes you get on yours you start this interconnection of you see a path of where to go you learn about certain things you learn trolls you learn what to mm -hmm. trust it there's so many beautiful things about Ooh. it and the reason why i said kojima should do a, a dead space game or something along the likes of that because there's something he's nailed in this game and it's ambiance the the sounds the noises the way things hit the like I, I cannot describe yes. the feeling of when you're first in just this open world and it's just like do it go somewhere walk well, and it's so not just going from walking, to me just you're walking and you, you have that tranquility in the ambiance and then all of a sudden a song from low roar just comes on out of mm -hmm. nowhere and it matches the scene and everything that's happening so perfectly and you just kind of like whoa you just or, stop and you reflect for a second my favorite thing is to just kind of take in like if i notice it's starting to get too quiet i'll start looking around the sky and then slowly i'll start seeing a rainbow appear and i'm like oh no and then all of yeah, a sudden like everything just dramatically bad. changes the rain comes all of a sudden all these death strands yeah you got the bts are, are, are all of a sudden in the there all the music everywhere chasing you. and it's just it becomes this tense game of like just it's 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 legit like it's not scary it's not the word i want to use but it's 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 intense you feel the emotion you, in the game the how, story how you, is interesting and weird and like oh i don't the, know the how gameplay to it, so man. i i really like the sneaking a lot because in this game because yeah. i see a lot of people in chat have no idea they they have not tried the game for themselves something i really think is interesting is there are humans that are kind of just bad guys called mules and they're trying to steal mm -hmm. your cargo. But then there are, of course, like the ghost bad guys, the BTs. But ironically, there's kind of a shared stealth system because no matter what, these people are drawn to life. Whereas the living people want to steal your cargo, the zombie people, so to speak, the evil ghosts want to steal your life force. And so for both of them, you are kind of creeping around and you're trying to literally, there's a system to hold your breath and be silent. And and I like the fact mm. that there's such an interesting like duality to it. I like the fact that like it, Sam is so afraid and, and your character actually has a phobia of uh, physical touch. So even when you're meeting other humans, your guy is like super like paranoid of like, no, everything I meet is trying to kill me. Every person, every ghost is trying to kill me. I think that's so cool. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, do, the I mules, haven't... the one thing with the mules I don't like is the encounters because yeah. Like I was way up on a hillside. I was a thousand feet away from them, and I, mm -hmm. but I was in their territory. They do the scan, 
and they were throwing like their spears at me to yeah, electrify the electric me and stuff. Spears, yeah. and I'm kind of like, okay, I get it. But then to hide with them, especially when you have a big pack of items on it, like you can't hide in tall grass when I got a 12 foot <laughs> stack of boxes on me. And the combat is just weak. It's just punch, punch, kick. Like I kind of expected it better from Kojima, especially because of Metal Gear Solid background to make a more coerce like cqc were you using system. were you using the strands to fight them you actually can counter them and immediately yeah. put them down at that point i didn't have it was it was like you get like a, a little later on in yeah. i love how buddy got him early he's been using I'll, them for a while yeah i love when they yeah. back off you get it you get it midway a, through chapter three i think a bt you know when you go into a bt territory and then like you know it's like serious because the rainbow comes out they freak out and they dip They're like you know what your cargo's not worth it i always yeah. love when that cutscene happens they're like you know what you're not we're chasing over this and all of a sudden the bt it just gets so tense and quiet and then like you just hear this little droning of these figures when you stand still you can see them and your little he's like it's over there it's over there wait it's over here it's too like close the to forest you. the forest Love sequence it. was tense as hell mm -hmm. the, the whole game is is feeling like that from like the start where it felt open and, and tranquil to now where it still feels open and i don't i'm scared like you feel this 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 nervousness to walk anywhere yeah, because you're not sure what is just ahead like it's yeah you have that rainfall and you're like are the bts gonna be right when i get past this path like you know i cross this river what's gonna so happen I, beyond this ridge i want to say this for people in the chat because the chat's freaking out are they serious all this stuff i'm like i want to say this as a game do i recommend this absolutely no. not no. as an experience if you're someone who looks for an experience in art and storytelling absolutely you're gonna take something away from this game within the first 20 minutes i'm already sitting there invested more than i ever mm -hmm. thought i would all right within 20 minutes and that so, i don't if you're looking for a game itself just watch the cutscenes online if you want the story save yourself the, the time so, because you're not going to like it I, I think one of the parts about this game that i think makes it the most fun to sit down and play for yourself is that nothing is really explained to you and what i mean by that is nobody ever really sits you down in the story and says like here's why this stuff is happening instead everybody like the world has just been screwed for so long people just kind of accept everything so i like that as you're going to different checkpoints and talking to people everybody kind of just like there's already this vocabulary nobody's like well the reason we use the acronym bt like i kind of like the fact that it, it feels it feels so advanced as a game in a way. It feels like a yeah. game that understands what it's trying to be, and it's not going to dumb it down. That's really cool to me. But the, other, no, the, like, other, the other thing I have on, issues on, with on the that game. Point. Go ahead. Like, Go ahead. I mean, the combat, I think, is weak. I think the user interface, I think the text could be bigger, especially when you're reading 100%. mission objectives. That's very small, which is kind of – it's just distracting because it's so tiny. And just the general menu screen is very convoluted and it almost to the point of unnecessarily oh, yeah. convoluted where it's, oh, I want to recycle these items or the crystals or I just want to get rid mm -hmm. of like an empty case on my back that's just weighing me down. They just made it a little more complex than it probably had to be. But so everything you, else, I just want to go back into that environment. I want to get those packages and deliver them. And I love how the I think it was in Chapter 2 where they actually discussed why he has this job. Yeah. I think it was... um. Guillermo del Toro character is like, oh, we used to have AI and drones deliver packages, yeah. but we removed that human element because people didn't like how it was just all robotic and fake. So we created these jobs nobody wanted. And, you know, that's what you're doing here, Norman Reedus. You're doing the job no one wanted, and now it's pivotal to our society. And that's what makes the game – well, that's one of the things that makes the game so great is – you know, it's not hard to understand what's going on. Like for, for years, we had no idea what this game was, right? And then mm -hmm. you play for the first hour and, you, you know, you, you kind of put into this world and you really have a really good understanding of what's happening, you know, very, very easily. The, the, the story is being told to you and you, you really understand it very, very easily. There's no, you know, I mean, there's obviously there's a lot more to come that we don't know about if, you, if you're still playing through the game, but the game is, is, is told, it, it, the, the story is excellent. I think it's the the second mission in the game, but the one where you have to take a certain thing to a certain place, and that's yeah. where the, the yeah, majority. That's where, that's where it opens that's, up. Yeah, that's when yeah. the emotions and the ideas and the themes really start hitting. Yeah, and it, it's crazy how like that click happens when you're doing it because you're like all of a sudden you're like, oh. I, I start to, and it's so hard not to spoil anything because I know I don't want to spoil it for anyone here. Like so, I know Miss Click. Well, I have and I a question. Yeah, 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 please, please. I have a question because obviously with all the trailers, I feel like every like for the longest time, excuse me, for the longest time, and this is probably gonna sound really dumb, and Chad's probably gonna judge me. 
I thought that the game for some reason was gonna be like a space sci-fi like kind mm-hmm. of you know type of game and then when we started realizing it was more like you know like uh, I think I saw shotguns and and barrettes bread, and mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah. and then you know you see the uniforms and are like wait a minute this is going in a completely different direction so I felt like I was getting more and more confused the more I watched trailers on it so would you say this is a perfect case of I feel like nowadays when we watch movie trailers I feel like you basically get the plot. Like, too much is revealed in movie trailers. And I feel I think, like this showed I, I, things, but it made us curious, yeah. but it didn't, like, I, tell us the plot. I think Kojima showed us some stuff from the end of the game in the yeah. trailers. But we just don't know it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, don't know it. Spoiled he late showed, yeah. game content. Uh, but, so the game itself, gameplay-wise, is uh, below average. I'd say poor would be a better Whoa. description is for it. because there's no the combat? Gameplay. Really? There is comp. There is combat, but it's but it's like very spread. The, the, the I'd word say, I've been it's an hour. You can do word? this game with literally almost no combat it for most. Of well, the yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, you do get like a non-lethal gun. You do get grenades that yeah, are yes. synthesized out of poop. They are the, poop. Yeah, yeah, you, get, you get poop, blood, and piss grenades. The word yeah. the word Wait, that comes really? to mind. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the, the, that kind of leads in the word that comes to mind when I when I have when I think of this game is uh, unnecessary. So Whoa. much of the game is unnecessary. How I think so? I think I'm about to play a 40 to 45 hour game when it only needs to be like 15 hours. Like your shoes. Sometimes it's not about the destination; it's about the journey. Well, okay, let me. Thanks, let me ask Miley this. Right, so, so we have. So one of the things that you run into a lot is rain, right? Mm-hmm. The rain is like time fall time fall it's te- it's terrible like if you compare it to breath of the wilds rain somehow it's worse right <laughs> and i'm not buying this game so the, the, the whole thing of the yeah. rain is it deteriorates your lug your, your it, it cargo, accelerates right? time anything it touches you. right yeah. it doesn't seem but you wear a suit basically that mm-hmm. keeps you immune to it essentially okay. it, it, the suit seems Seems but okay. I think it's right. I think Would it's just that it's trailer? plastic, and plastic doesn't age really. So even though it's hitting it, it doesn't do anything. Whereas your, all your your shoes will get eaten up. Any of your it's like luggage degree. and stuff. So then yeah. why don't so I just cut, why don't I just when it's raining you wear a poncho? Exactly. Yes, but why don't I just cover my cargo in that material? Oh, you you have ways of basically repairing stuff. Ver- uh, yeah, you have your, you have your you have your repair spray, right? Yeah, and I think that's basically plastic coating. But I have at some point robotic legs yeah the delivery legs but they can't make a blanket out of the coat and put it on the uh, cargo well even the suits have to be decontaminated to yeah ensure they can stay so there there is still so even if you had that and you were going through a long time it could still cause and and your outfit changes a little bit throughout the game so clearly like even your plastic does eventually degrade uh, it just it seems unnecessary to even have the cargo degrade in general also i, I haven't it once it in that way how many people have tripped in the game? I haven't tripped uh, once. I have a couple of times, I but I was like, this, I was running as far yeah, as I, I could. The, the, the balancing I thing. Because I was like falling down like a mountain. Majority of the time. To go. Majority of the time, I'm just holding automatically. Right. And I'm just used to holding it automatically. Yeah, so I don't have to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. We're, but the you other thing is we're going, we're going across America right now. That's the idea. Well, the, the mini golf version of America. Right. Yes. That's the other thing. Yeah. It's not quite <laughs> big enough to feel no. like it's actually America. It's just big enough so that you have to take a 20 to 25 minute trek at a time. Yeah, because you, you get to like your third destination. You look back like, how am I already like this far into the yeah, United like, I'm States? Like, eh, but I can okay. still see the capital all the way right there. Yeah, you know, and, not... and I will admit you do get better stuff as you go along. So it's not like you're using you're not using like a rope and stick the whole time, you know, so that's yeah. fine. So, but uh, but this... even that type of stuff was cool because like I was doing a mission and somebody else had set up a rope mm-hmm. on the cliffside. OK, where so... I basically went across a whole mountain yeah. range and saved Why myself 20 minutes to get to another city. Are ropes are there's monster energy drinks but there's not ropes in this world let me like, let me no, expl- you, you, you have ropes, ropes you get world? ropes you get ropes and ladders right, right Why away can't you just have it from the yeah. beginning who cares well, you do have from the beginning yeah so yeah, the whole you thing, got those from the beginning. Some, something that's definitely the most interesting about this game from like a review standpoint is a lot of the reviewers played this on a much smaller server because obviously there were less people playing. I feel like they got a little bit of a different experience than we're having now. Like Nate talking about in the area he's playing, people have already constructed an entire electric highway. Mm. Um where I'm at right now, I'm down in this canyon part of the game, and everybody has built this complicated rope system so I can easily get in and out. And each person's rope actually has a name on it. So it's interesting to actually mm-hmm. see, like, 
this this world that's built by all of our own hard work. So it seems like basically if a lot of players are putting something in one area, it'll start to bleed over into other people's environments. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's so like, cool. And I like that the game, the game improves. I wouldn't give this game a 10 out of 10 or anything. 100% nah. not. Yeah. But... I mean, what I've been playing, what I've played so far, I not walking away from it saying, I'm not enjoying this or I hate this. I'm, I keep playing it. The characters, the setting, the narrative, it's all, it's keeping me captivated. I, I think and the... I just want to keep going and seeing, see what else is going to happen. Like if I had to give this game, I'm glad I didn't have to review this game because this would have been a very difficult review. And I think yeah. those who came in probably around a seven, seven out of 10, that's probably a fair assessment when you really factor in a lot of things. But I mean, at the same time, I still have, you know, probably another 25 hours with the game. Maybe it falls apart in those final 25 hours. But based on my experience so far, I think about a seven would, would be fair. Mm. I'd, I'd rate it a little high. I'd give it probably an eight, eight point five. Well, the the, the same. I'm somewhere in between that. It confuses me though, because like listening on that, obviously I'm playing it tomorrow, so I don't know. Yeah. It feels like people who are wanting combat. We're wanting action. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get it in different ways. I think when, like, for me, if I'm judging a game, it's not necessarily about is there action or it it, it helps if there's action and a good balance of story. But I think that's just because what we're used to. For me, mm -hmm. it's more of like what it, what are the intentions of the game and what they've made intentional about what they wanted to focus on. Are they doing that well? And yes, if they're working yes. on ambiance and experience, uh, you know, the experience and the whole like take it in and sit still for a couple minutes. Uh, then I think that that's what they wanted to do. It sounds like they've they've done a decent job for it. So you know whether or not people want the combat, you know if you don't want it and you don't like it because of that, that that's fine. It doesn't necessarily make it a bad yeah, game. You're either going to get it or not get it within that two hours. When the first two hours happen and you do the first yeah. couple missions and you watch a lot of the long cutscenes right before the game really starts opening up and just mm -hmm. letting you go I personally for a long love distance. So I'm excited. And the, and the oh, cutscenes okay. are going to be well, incredible. The first, yeah. the first like two hours yeah. is like 20 minutes of gameplay and like but, an hour and a half. But it's That's either going to click for you or not. Not enough cutscenes. Yeah. You're either going to understand what Kojima's going for or you're yeah. going to kind of be like, eh, okay. You know, like that. As long as, as long as the plot like connects the further and you get and it doesn't start mm -hmm. getting convoluted or plot holes you, you know, understand like why you start understanding I mean, why and I, I, what everything I mean, really means i play the game and i it's weird i play the game and i understand the low reviews like i understand like the mm -hmm. the, the you know the one on the one inside and then i i play it and i also understand why some people would like the game i think i'm just i'm in the middle i think i don't know i i, I play it and i get it because they have the carrot on the stick since you actually do level like you level up and all like a lot mm -hmm. like you're like level 60 in the first few you hours also like raise rep with towns oh, and uh, stuff it's got yeah, those yeah, rpg rep. elements yeah they have a lot of like those kind of things in there and you do uh craft you fabricate materials and and new items and all this stuff but great they, shoes yeah that's the other thing man when i saw that my shoes degrade i was like oh come on dude i, I have like five <laughs> pairs of shoes i mean uh, now as soon as once so yeah, what, what are the funny things a few pair one of the things that made me laugh is your shoes degrade and if your shoes break because the ground all has like residue of time fall which is so dangerous you can walk up and rip up a plant and just tie the fucking like leaves to your feet and just oh, walk yes, around yeah, with the sandal weed but then, sandal I was like, weed. But then, there, the, but then I'm, I'm going up a, a cliff right coming back from a mission i was doing and this big stack of cargo on my back climbing up it clips through every like all the landscape it clips through that no problem while i'm trying to climb someone set a ladder over top where you go up cargo smacks and the ladder falls all down the cliff well, that's no a troll. Why he you ran into a troll. No wonder why he doesn't like and then, it. Well, no, that's the thing. This game has so many moments where you just say, I hate this game. But then, but then, as so, the, but then I, I say these bad things about it. Then you have these good moments where you're climbing, like you've had this long trip. It's like 30 minutes or whatever. It's like the, it, at one point in the game, like it's your longest trip, go do it. And, you, and you're climbing up this hill that you've been climbing for like 10 minutes or something, including that part. And then you get to the top. And you look over, and because they have it set up as large as they do, you get this massive view over. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say a base. All right, I'll say a base. And then they have just the right music playing as you're mm -hmm. seeing it, and you go, yep. "Okay." So I, I do get why some people look at this and say this is this is amazing, but I just I don't know. I, I the, the gameplay the gameplay hurts it for me to where I'm like, uh, it's it's I get it's like an 
I get why people say it's like an 83 or whatever on Metacritic. It, I get that. So I'm like, I'm okay, that's, that's fair though. Okay, I, I'm fine. I agree with, with what you're saying. I'm fine with that now. I feel like nobody, everybody in chat, like chat is so angry of no, the game is shit and the gameplay is terrible and this is <laughs> a $70 movie. They're going like, back just, and forth. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. there's back and forth to it. Like can, can I mention something with the, yeah, with I, want, the I want to hear, I want to hear OJ's take on yeah, this. Uh, no, he's, he's got a differing opinion. I, I really dislike the gameplay in this game. I, I see what you guys are talking about on the, the building the, the bridges but it seems like this game could have had so much cooler tech to traverse the area and so much cooler tech to actually make the game more fun and i understand some of you guys don't care about fun fun doesn't have to be a factor in a game but i think for lots of people <laughs> fun, fun is a factor you do you do get some cool stuff i will admit you, that. you get some cool stuff but i mean like getting like there could have been a lot more i've seen what people get and i'm into the game but fun has to be a factor and if people are saying the game's not fun right off the back that's an issue with your playing there's cutscene after cutscene after cut again well, yeah, yeah again the guy the guy, the guy oh, yeah. i've watched I play like nine hours subjective. of the game is constantly saying he's having a lot of fun so he's mm -hmm. having a lot it. of you guys in the chat said the not. game's not fun Oh yeah, I, I, that, I, I, but, no, but see, that's what I'm saying. On the chat, fun haven't played the game. No, I'm saying that you said that it's not fun. You said the game's yeah. not fun. Yeah, it's not a fun game. I wouldn't say it's fun. When I'm sitting there like, heck yeah, dude. I'm sitting there. I'm I'm taking okay. in this emotional well, for journey. lots of yeah. I'm about it's, to be not fun, fun factor. It's not a... fun in a happy-go-lucky way. It's fun that it is that it's just game. luring you back in it's engaging yeah. you and you All just right. want to keep well, going to see when i played the game i wasn't having much i wasn't having much fun playing the game i'm sorry i'm that's not happy no, no but i wasn't no, having much fun saying. playing the game no, I fine I, to, okay go ahead Jordan. sorry i want to say to your extent real quick before we continue to your extent of wanting like more cool items to traverse like i watched your live stream earlier talking about like claws to like climb and all this other stuff that would make it more interesting because you know it's in some future time we don't know what but there's futuristic items why not stuff like that i think it's on purpose there's not stuff in here because then it just kind of makes it too easy to traverse and go through stuff i think okay. the rough journey is the journey that's the point okay, of the my game. Bad. Like, the well, game is purposefully not fun okay well no yeah, it, it, it has not to... fun to you okay well yeah. there, there, there are, are times people where, like you not there, <laughs> there are things in this game that are enjoying in a way that i would not expect like one of the recently i came upon a river that was very wide and i scanned it and i saw that it was too dangerously deep for me to cross and mm -hmm. i didn't have the supplies to build a bridge and so i had to just walk along this river until i found rocks close enough that i could hope to survive it and yeah that's not one of those things where i'm gonna be like gee willikers guys i'm about to breath of the wild this bitch instead it was kind of just like all right like I am going to think about how how would my people, the foragers of America, cross this stream. It's it's a different kind of experience. Well, that's kind of like where it's almost like the environment itself is a puzzle. Yeah. You have to say, how am I going to get by this river? Well, I can put a ladder on these two rocks and I can create a mini bridge. When you have the bigger things and you finally get the tools to build an actual bridge, now obviously that's going to be your solution. Or you can just fall in the river, lose every piece of you know equipment you have on your back, and just you know fall down the stream and hopefully get ashore at some point but it's just the game it does re it reminds me it's going to be a bad comparison i know the chat's going to go crazy <laughs> All right, <I'm> ready. <laughs> when i'm just walking around the environment and you have those moments of tranquility it reminds me of when i would just walk around an area of breath of the wild and i would just mm -hmm. lose myself to the environment it's I playstation's around, breath of the wild you're right in a way like i'm, I'm just going to climb this mountainside because i want to see what's there and it just it gives you that opportunity and it's just it, it's freeing in its own way mm -hmm. and that's obviously not going to resonate with everybody that's understandable i mean personally and i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this i couldn't stand octopath traveler i thought it was a really boring game Looked i'm great, actually i'm great. in that boat too i actually i agree i didn't like octopath <laughs> I like and, Octopath. It was a yeah, I couldn't stand the combat, I, and, and I still yeah, cannot uh, stand Xenoblades. But, but I can also see why either. people would like Octopath. No. So it's don't like, have fun. Eh. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, those are really popular games. So like, good for you guys. But you know, I'm not going out here saying it's a crappy game because I didn't have fun playing it. You know, like mm. I understand you had fun playing it. So I think it's worth. I think Death Stranding is a game. I, I didn't even say Death Stranding was a crappy game. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I barely said anything no, about the game. Actually, no, 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 no,
significantly better than what Death Stranding does. I don't think anybody's going to sit here and say that this game is on the level of a Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4. Is anybody so, going to put it that high? And I'm just comparing nah. it to what Kojima's no. done. I was going to say, what are you comparing it to? I, 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 I expect... I expect Kojima to be making a game that not only has superior story and great stuff like he's always done with the cutscenes, but also have superior gameplay you, that you is fun. And this game just falls so you know what I wondered, short of that. You know, that, I was wondering that's about it. that. It's I, I almost wondered if Konami was heavily pushing like some of the gameplay elements for Metal Gear Solid on like Kojima had the idea for the the different elements of Metal Gear, whether it's like some of the supernatural stuff he added in and the story and how it all went together. But then like Konami was like, well, we got to make sure there's something here with gameplay as well yeah i don't know it, it seemed it does seem odd that the Ko, kojima's on his own and he crafts i think he crafted an, an, a, an amazing lore like i'm, I'm very mm-hmm. interested in the story i am but like you're saying you go and watch all the cutscenes. i do here's the thing i do hope is that if he really does do film i hope he goes and signs a deal with like netflix or something mm. i hope so i hope i hope kojima i hope he goes and uh does that I think be you good. know one thing i want to say just because the chat's going about it is that I'm not that big of a Kojima fan. I'm not enjoying Death Stranding because Kojima is attached to it. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it was made by Ink Girl 2 and Blue Ink Boy 1 from friggin' Splatoon. I don't oh care who the developer God. is. That's a good the collaboration. that is oh being God. shown so he's what that drop. is keeping will... me captivated. <laughs> you it's know what? The developer I actually, Nate is one of the people that I completely believe when it comes to that because he played, what did you play again this past week, Nate? Race of the Ryan. Right, you play some of the weirdest <laughs> games, all right. So you know what? I believe you when you say that. You're one of the people I believe, like completely. I mean, it, Nate, it... <laughs> Nate, from what you said, it sounds. It, it doesn't sound a lot like Breath of the Wild. It sounds more like you're playing a post-apocalyptic, futuristic version of Oregon Trail. No, no. I think it's. I think it'd be closer. I'd actually put it closer to kind of the some of the feeling I had with Skyrim when that first came out. Yeah, we eat, eat a little slower, it, a little slower. Yeah. I think Just it that, takes elements of like a Fallout with some Breath of the Wild, and you kind of it's kind of like it's a weird hybrid of a lot of different ideas. Like it's not a one to one of a Breath of the Wild in any way. It's just when you're walking around the environment. You just get that peaceful feeling to yourself of just sitting there kind of just like, wow, this is kind of amazing. Look at this. Look at the setting around me. Look at the mountains. Look at the rainfall. Look at the forest. And you just lose yourself in that. And that's where the comparison more to Breath of the Wild has come from that more than an actual gameplay standpoint. Yeah, and then to add to that, you know, when it when the BTs come and everything gets dark and transforms, you know, very, very similar kind of vibes there as well. I mean, I can definitely see, you know, the the analogy there with with Breath of the Wild for sure. Interesting. Okay. I think the magic about Breath of the Wild is you see something far off in the distance and you're like you, you have that natural sense of curiosity and you're like What is that? I want to go there. I know that I can go there. So you go there. But 15 fun, interesting things distract you and pop up. And you're like, oh, what's this? What's this? Instead, you're never walking a half hour towards something. That's the thing about this game. The the world is is fairly empty from what I I see. It's it's empty. But I think it's also the fact that the world is really dangerous. Like it's it's hard to go long distances in this game. I, I feel like I have to stop a lot and be careful the, because especially in the second know, zone, the my buddy thing, gets yeah. getting his ass kicked by the friggin mules. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I love, I love. Honestly, I love the CQC. Honestly, I also realize I don't like survival games. So, like mm-hmm. at that point, oh. I'm like, there's I'm a, not a fan. There's a big well, element of enough. that to this. Yeah, area. well, I know that now. Yeah, but I'm playing it. I'm like, ah, <laughs> go in a bar. Okay. He- <laughs> so I, I'm going to say one thing and it basically chat. This will make up your mind whether or not you want to buy this game or not. There oh, I are think they multiple, made up their mind. <laughs> I was going to say there, there are multiple cutscenes where scientists ask you for pee and poop and explain why pee and poop are so important. If you are willing to put up a game with that, this is the game for you. I think I think everyone should at least try the game at some point. And I don't even mean right now because I, I have a feeling this will go on, di- on deep discount next yeah. year or something. If yeah. you're if you if you see it at a store for like, you know, 15 or 20 bucks and you were against it now, I would I would take it home and just try it and be like, eh. also, I think GameStop is doing the 48 hour thing where if you don't like it, you can take it right back. 
<laughs> also, I've heard some uh, some inside stuff that Sony's bracing for a big loss with this. So oh oh, they, I'm sure I'm sure they, they, they are they are not very very happy with with Kojima. I mean, I don't they're think happy they're make like that. This game no. it looks cool, and they can they made a console with it to be like, look at our new PS4. But they're not they're not too happy with how sales are going to come in. But that's how they're yeah. scared for. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, a, they're going to rush a sequel called Poop Standing. Yeah, I'm 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 middle I'm middle on this game Sounds right now. Sounds underrated. We'll see how it is when I finish it because I'll, I'll go ahead and work through the game. But I'm I'm mid on it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The guaranteed to love it days gone. That's it. There you go. You try it out for 48 hours. You don't like it? Take it back. Get your get your credit and get something else. I know people yeah, have been redboxing it too. So like, they, yeah. redbox it too. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd also add on top of that, like if you're looking for a game like you know to kind of get lost in like a story and world and stuff then yeah absolutely but if like if fun factor you guys remember back in the day like game revolution or whatever fun factor was like one oh, of their yeah. scores yeah that thing where like like oh fun. like if, if you're looking for a game to just shoot out you like have fun factor like a platformer or like uh, you know something like that then like call of duty like, yeah or even like call yeah, something like well <laughs> yeah. up right up things Actually, are I was like, like things, yeah i think developers i think, developers, you know, I think developers reference that is the firework effect like you just Feel like hey, man, fireworks. Call Duty's yeah. fun. <laughs> if, I mean, I a, lot of games, a lot of games do that today, too. I mean, even if you're playing a platform, if you're playing something else, it's just instantly right there and engaging. Heck, even even in RPG, sometimes they throw you right into battles, right? From the very mm -hmm. beginning, they'll throw you into stuff. So if you're looking for something that's going to be super fun that you're just going to, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if this would be the best, but if you keep playing, you might you might find all the interesting, like the Ace of multiplayer stuff really cool. And the story, you might like that story as well um, in terms of like what they're doing like, there. Let me give it, I'm let me... not as interested, but... Let me give you an example. I, cool. I, I don't. I don't like. I don't like Minecraft. <gasps> can't stand Minecraft. <laughs> but everybody does. And I'm like, I, I don't care. Do. Minecraft. The Forager, dude. Play the Forager on the Switch. It's so much fun. Can't stand Minecraft. Real yeah, quick, I, the uh, the um, the guaranteed to love it program mm -hmm. is only for 48 hours after a game's launch. Not oh. Oh. Hours. Well, you run hard. out of time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess yeah, Redbox it. Yeah, Redbox it. Yep. I, just before we leave this topic, I want to say yeah. I am I, I'm working on a giant review of this game. I put up an impressions video yesterday, and I promised that if it got 2,000 likes, I'd do a giant review. So I've actually been playing that. Death Stranding nonstop. I'm going to try and do like a 20-minute in-depth. I want to try and beat it this weekend. No sleep. <laughs> um, I want to try and just see it all as best I can and talk about the story and mm -hmm. some spoilers and the combat and the boss fights. So um, if you have not bought it yet, which uh, judging my chat, it sold zero <laughs> copies. Uh, be sure to watch my video on Monday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that video. Yeah, me too. I, I got to say just a couple of things uh, to add. I, I love the graphics that the engine in this game is so, incredible. Oh my God. You know what? Incredible. I am. I am blown away by Decima right now. It's that, so good. That's even... one of the reasons why I, I, I'm really enjoying the game. Just kind of walking around in that world, I I just love it so much. You and, know, and go ahead. Not well, not even the stagnant scenes. I actually watched the first boss fight. That was ridiculous. The whole oh, yeah. boss fight, the way the buildings coming in and out of that tar effect, yeah. you climbing you over have to the climb place. the buildings that as was they sink. Oh, my. Crazy. Oh, my yeah, I just, and I like just... that stuff can happen really any time, depending on how much you're dragged down by the, like that whole like the whole area you're in can just instantly transform into a giant tar pit with its own yeah, brand new physics but but, yeah. but 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 what about but but the boss the boss fight's actually a joke though no he's he's not he's a kind of a pushover absolutely but the <laughs> the setup for it's pretty awesome no the setup is awesome but i mean like the, the actual fight is a joke like, oh, is oh, it, well i mean technically I but, but technically amazing. he's the first one you fight i mean if he popped out of nowhere and was just like and dead like over and over again like i feel we'd be leaning a little closer to a dark souls thing going on with this but than like, what he might it, want you to experience I think a lot of the bosses are like that, though. That's probably going to be the case. <laughs> Can I just say awesome. that yeah. I I am genuinely um, I am actually really intrigued at the fact that this game has created like such a dichotomy and everything because a couple weeks ago we were talking about how we feel like a lot of games are the same and like we need to like change things up or whatever. Uh, My, and I I think in a way that this is doing that, and you can usually tell when a game is doing something different when people are so starkly for it or against it and then you know there's the the minute people in between where it's like well yeah. you can understand another youtuber to to extremes another youtuber so said it best. uh i think his name is your player too he said the 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 beautiful dichotomy is this game is about building bridges and bringing humanity together 
while everyone outside and in the real world talking about the game has been separated and pulling each other apart. And I think that is the most beautiful thing. And the fact that we've been talking about this game for three years and Mm -hmm. we're still this heated on each side of it. Is it fun? Is it not fun? I like this. I hate this is the beauty of it. The fact that we can have this discourse about it is the reason this game exists. And that's why it's stirring the waters. Yeah. 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 That's the most it's interesting not like fact. it's not like No Man's Sky, you know, where it was like flat out. Everybody was freaking returning it, you know, and like yeah, it, that game it was lied. boring and everybody <laughs> understood it. You know, At least like Kojima was like, yeah, you're actually getting this. Like this is what you are getting. No yeah, Man's Sky like, was like, we promise. And this. other people are like, oh, my God, it's freaking great. So I miss Yeah, Didn't know. Kojima play like <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the trailers when I heard about it. Like, didn't he just play like a long period of walking around doing one thing? Yeah. Yeah, he was he was doing one of those missions, and so I, I think a lot of people no misrepresenting what the game was about. No, I think, I, <laughs> what's so funny is he told us exactly what the game was. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no lie. We, we couldn't believe it. We were like, no. Yeah, that was, like, that was so a big trick. trick. And I got to be honest with you, I, I was telling us that there was something more to the game, and instead he was like, "I'm showing you exactly what my game is." Yeah. Yeah. That's the and troll. That's it. And yeah. They were like, they were like, "This is th- you're peeing. That's funny, Kojima." But what's the game? And he's like. This That's it. But this. you know what's funny, though? In those trailers, when he did the gameplay demonstration at Tokyo Game Show, he said, Urine is going to play a big part of the game. And, and it, it did. It became a it, weapon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going to say, like, the, there's a reason he shut off the ping. It made sense for... Like, well, yeah, it wasn't just in the game for this yeah. random, like, hey, look at Norman Reedus can pee. No, it, like, it <laughs> so, actually was implemented in a meaningful way, and it was kind of like... Wow, this guy is a madman. Have you I mean, seen the, the giant signs? Thing, <laughs> would, you, would you go it's still to your... as, It's still dumb as hell. I'll, 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 I'll be like, you can't just take a shower. Like, but he made lore. Hell, but okay. He made all this lore about pee, man. He made pee lore. Oh, I mean, pee lore, lore and all this. Like, it's so, it, 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 the fact that it is so important, like, I guess important, it just makes me like, all right. I, I did laugh that when <laughs> there are these giant, like, laser signs that are like holograms outside a lot of the major buildings, and a lot of them will be like, this structure exists exists for this corporation and a lot of them have a giant no peeing side there's like just like yeah, a, an no infographic of a guy peeing it's like oh okay no pee and, zone got it yeah so uh, Trey parker and matt stone help him write the script <laughs> right so uh yeah mvg decima it's gonna look pretty pretty good going into the playstation 5 yeah i i'm looking forward to uh what comes next and I'm, i think obviously we'll see something from gorilla next year get announced yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. it'll it, it yeah. be very interesting to see that because we assume that uh it's gonna be horizon zero dawn Yep. too so that'll be that'll be something else to Dude, see that the the president uh and very early on like the president's like face the old face and graphics like that was probably some of the most impressive like facial graphics i've ever seen in a video it game looks just uh, like the actress yeah exactly like I, there's some things you look at like norman Reedus or some of the main actors they just kind of look a little plasticky in the face but like her model specifically was I, I literally took a picture of it and sent it to someone. I said, this is my grandma. They said, this is a great picture. I said, no, that's video game graphics. They're like, you're lying to me. <laughs> yeah, so Miss Click, you're going to have to get on this uh, like right away. Tomorrow, yeah. There Tomorrow we get some latent stuff and then we there can you dive, go. dive into I honestly, it. Yep. Honestly, I can't stop thinking about the game right now. I want to play it as soon as we, we're done. Like, okay, that's, I know, it's yeah. 11 that o'clock. Is, like four topics. topics. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, that, that's the effect that this game is having on me right well, now. I, two of them, I, two of them are smaller topics, but Pokemon is going to be something, so. So when oh, we have man. super chats still to go through. Evan, here's the Discord question. Move on from Death Stranding. I will say with Death Stranding, I still have to do a video on it, but I understand why people don't like it. I understand why people like it. Look so, how sad MVG is. He's like there looking at his DualShock controller like, I want to turn you on. So <laughs> I actually got my Neo Geo here. I'm going to power this baby up. So that's the interesting thing about the game. The interesting thing about this game is OJ's right and Jordan and Nate and MVG and Max are all right. Everyone's right. That's the weirdest thing about this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I, I mean, it's, it's so the, strange. Well, look exactly. at the it's, get not as good, it's not as good as Metal Gear. I'm right. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't think anyone says as good as Metal Gear. Metal Gear 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 is one of the best games ever made. Subsistence. Yeah. Subsistence. Subsistence, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You know what happened with Metal Gear? Kojima was like, I can be all crazy, but I'm going to do it subtly. With Death Stranding, he's like, I'm going full crazy and I'm throwing it all at you yeah. right away. I'm not even going to try to be subtle. You know what I'm all about. And people are like, what the hey. hell is this? final thought i want to say it's almost weird like if i wasn't told that like hideo kojima made death stranding it would be hard to believe that those were the same that's the same person they're just in my opinion Metal Gear solid is so different 
Mm. Well, doesn't that show his prowess as a designer for a game? Yeah. Well, and and also uh, ha- there was definitely some outside influence. I definitely think some part of the team shifting, like uh, it's a big teamwork and definitely, definitely mm. a different group with the same head. I can't so, wait to see him direct a movie. Honestly, he's, he's going to somebody's going to do yeah. it. Oh, man. It, he's crazy with the camera work and storytelling and the atmosphere. You, he's done a great be- job. I guarantee you, the movie's going to be shot backwards, and you have to stand your head while watching it. And That's fine. Put on glasses weird about made, it. Out of, made out of pee to watch it or something. I mean, so, uh, you know, like the a go for it. The movie's going to get cool. his own Black Mirror special. The oh, movie, the yeah. movie, the movie thing's cool, but I, I want him to keep making games. Honestly, oh, I, 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 you know what I mean. Sure. Like, sure, yeah. you know, if you want to make a movie, go for it, man. But. Don't you know, keep making games? That, that's what I, I want yeah, to explore do. and push I'll his genre. Next time, Sony ain't paying the bill. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> they're <laughs> out of there. Yeah, now they're out. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that, okay. Evan, you want to answer with a Discord question? I guess we'll go with a quick one. Chances of getting a Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue character in Smash? Point three. Mm. Probably Guilty very low. Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue? No. Mm-mm. Probably very low. Because Atlas is still yeah. super active with their own brands. I don't think they would give up their stuff at all, mm. even to well, try to like, even, bring it in. I don't even we know if they'd be looking that we, way, we, really. We got the Atlas character. That was well, like the through. fighting game versions. That. Yeah, like from Guilty I, Gear. I just don't think they're gonna. I think it's gonna no. be other companies. Like I think Koei Tecmo is gonna get one. I think they're gonna do other some other like, cl- mm. like hardcore like classic franchises. You know. Okay. Um, but maybe some more Nintendo stuff too. Like maybe like uh, Rex, Pyra. You know, Xenoblade gets in, mm. in the next wave. Would love, yeah. G- Gooigi. Yeah. Gooigi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Gooigi yeah. gets in. Uh, you got another one, Evan? Oh, we're gonna go with that. Okay, um, yeah, we'll go with one more while we <laughs> think. Because he has the super chats, then we can do Pokemon. And- this one's a little weird. This one's really. I'll just try to translate it. Um, with the <laughs> new consoles coming up for Sony and Microsoft, their power benchmarks being kind of like good but not impressive or outlandish when compared to things like Stadia having ridiculously high like benchmarks because it's basically a server. Um, yep. Is there going to be a problem with people looking at between those two things going forward? Because I mean, like, uh, the Stadia streaming, needs to, right? <laughs> Stadia needs to rack up the user numbers yeah. and the, prove that they can sell something before they uh, before they get big time support. I think it'd be cool to see what could happen if they tie all these servers together and they have a thousand person battle royale or something. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone really wants to sit down and specifically create for Stadia right this second i think that google has to prove that people even want to play it yet so i don't know i i don't even know if i'm getting mine on time all right <laughs> I, I tried to look up today i don't know when we'll be able to play stadia like the release date i can't tell if it's i, Ooh, can't I just tell. realized something i just realized something i did get accepted into the uh x cloud program oh, oh yeah nice. well so, I, so I tried to look into it there's varying reports of if i can just pay for the subscription service and access it now i don't know it's stadia is such an unknown element i don't think it's gonna work yeah oh yeah you mean over the um the the state like the founders edition thing or whatever yeah, yeah uh, we'll well, the founders edition and what's a starter edition and then yeah. there's the pro and non-pro and... it's all over the place who knows <laughs> uh yeah that, i mean it'd be cool if they did if they got that far but i think we're still a ways off anyway so uh let me go through some of these super chats and we'll talk about pokemon because i'm sure austin wants to talk a few things with that we'll do some metacritic predictions that'll be fun uh mr mr job says i love the spawn cast no hate but nate is the best there you go nate uh (laughs) x uh exit says uh please discuss and shine the light on killer queen nate you want to you want to let the people know killer queen black is good that, that is a really fun online competitive team based game. Okay. When I get it on Black Friday, we can we can check it out. I'll be getting it too. Yeah, definitely at that price. Uh, Tesla Volta Games says Fire Emblem Three Houses is game of the year. No questions. Uh, my most played game on the Switch. Best story. Excellent gameplay. Lots of replayability. I, I, I think there is a chance that that could be another JRPG that at least gets nominated. I, I think there's a chance. That's yes. I know JRPGs. Average. I know JRPGs have a hard time, you know, uh, in, in, in so I, it, it's going to be tough, but I think it, it has a chance to be another persona five type. Situation. I think if Celeste could get, get nominated last year, I think I wouldn't be surprised for three houses. No, if, if, Go- if goose game gets nominated for game of the year, <laughs> I, I can't. And I have to vote for it straight up. Like it, it just gets the vote. <laughs> <laughs> I think because they Adam, threw it to Celeste. I'm like, they threw an indie game uh, a nomination. I'm like, would they do that for Goose Game? I yeah, but what was Celeste two hours? 
No, that's no, it's true. Goose game has been goose a game's bigger cultural than that, phenomenon. Though. Kids were walking around in goose outfits for Halloween. Dude, everybody in my Discord server changed their name to Honk of some sort. There were okay. people in Baltimore I've never seen that with the game before. As characters from Goose mm, Game. That was that's funny. Uh, Radberry says, I drove to five different stores to find a copy of Death Stranding. I'm looking forward to listening to you guys talk about it. Love the podcast, guys. So <laughs> that, was, that was before we started talking about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe says, NBA 2K20 is game of the year for all the wrong reasons. Um, Demo, Demolition Man says, Untitled Goose Game 2 Untitled. Uh, <laughs> Chick, <laughs> Chick, <laughs> uh, chick says the mania game be fun shows you think games are just toys not a legitimate entertainment medium well excuse me for wanting to have fun <laughs> <laughs> no bro this this has to be a grinding bleak journey that makes you question if god even feels love isn't that what the last of us did uh, sorry for okay. wanting to have fun when i pick up a game and wanting to play it i'll treat it more seriously next time bro uh, How dare Lucia, you, OJ, have your own thoughts and opinions. Lucia, Lucia says, uh, I, I'm actually surprised that uh, OJ was the only one who, did, who was really, really uh, not in favor of Death Stranding. I was, I was actually surprised. I thought Jordan was going to hate it. I thought you were just going to be like, I, hate I was teasing the last couple days. Like, oh, do I, I like it? Do like I not it. like it? <laughs> I know no, OJ's going to like it because OJ's Jordan's on the movies. Side. Jordan's in the, the movies and the game's like, no, oh, it's, oh, but the true. thing is, it's not even about the movie aspect of why I like it. That's only part of it. Yeah, so OG's on one side, I'm in the middle, and everyone else is on the other side. It's, it's interesting. I was surprised that everyone was like, me too, I love it. I was like, oh, wow. This is I cool. was a little surprised, too, to be honest. I, 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 I thought I was the odd one out. Man, we, I, I'll play I it see, tomorrow. God damn it. Me, me, and, uh, me and Nate have secretly been talking about why we like it, so I knew, I knew he was going to Mike. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just shared with Nate every time I said I hate this game. <laughs> every situation that led to me saying that. <laughs> it's like four o'clock in the morning. I hit my phone go off. It's just this random DM. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> All of my cargo is floating down the river. I hate yeah, this game. I fell off. I fell off a cliff. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's not fun. <laughs> uh, Lucius uh, says not all games are fun. Dark Souls isn't fun. No, but the thing about Dark Souls is it's challenging, and after mm. you defeat that challenge, you feel but rewarded in yourself. There are people mm. that do feel that, but there's also people who hate the challenge. Like that's that's the thing. We're still using fun as like a, a moniker of what this is, but it's different. I feel like people. Dark Souls has it's really no different. atmosphere. <laughs> I think I Dark Souls. Dark. I guess you could say accomplished. Would that be the word? You, you I, feel I accomplished? Find Dark Souls yeah. fun. There's all yeah, sorts no, of cool no, abilities and, but and you, combat but you options can, and weapons. But, but there are ugly, people. Your character is ugly. Like it's not fun. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't know. Did, did Kids Move ever say Sekiro was fun <laughs> with how much we saw him playing that? Did he say? Hey, Sekiro was fun. So I, I love Sekiro. Sekiro. That was fun. I don't know. I don't know about throwing yeah. a controller, shattering a window, and turning yeah, on your no. <laughs> He doesn't like the mechanics, though. He doesn't like the game. I love the mechanics. Games like that. He just doesn't like the mechanics. I do love that when I was watching. The stream when he he sm like slammed his controller down so hard that it set off his fire alarm and his wife goes turn off that damn game and the stream just ends. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's it's still it's just a it's just a term that's different per person. But like we can't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. But uh, people can't be objective, Evan. They can't be objective. It's impossible. It's the internet. It's impossible. Hey, but some people are tasked to put a review score on it, so they had to they had to put something out there for it. Hmm. Right. Uh, PK. Poor bastards. I, that, I know that's tough. Oh man, that, that's yeah. Um, mm. well, uh, that, that's why I, I didn't put a review score on Call of Duty this year because I know it's going to get a bunch of micro. I almost the one thing I, I put a review score on ever. I almost wanted to be Death Stranding. Just put a review score on it. <laughs> Just, right. I'm, <laughs> Oh uh, like man! A clock out of ten. Oh, I'll do something time. dumb, man. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime I give things scores, I give them arbitrary scores. Like this game gets a score of thirteen popsicles. Yeah, Lame that's what. Uh, uh, like, I on who's that. gonna argue that? That's what. That's what Conan O'Brien does a lot. Of. Full hats oh, out of ten, and that's why he's in the game. Yeah, 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 yes. Uh, uh, wait, Conan O'Brien is in Death Stranding? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. And, he, and he wears an otter hat, and he gives you an otter hat so you can sit and float like oh, an yeah, otter. I just encountered river. that. No. No. Anyone found Keely yet? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Can you pee while you're in the river? Can you pee in the river? So. 
Really? Yes, you, you know, I haven't you tried to pee in the river yet. I thought you were talking about Death Stranding. I get, I get to pee as a guy in a video game? Dude, I'm so excited. No, no. You could actually it, fast what, what equip the ability to pee as well. <laughs> Any anytime you touch water, your canteen automatically fills up. But every time oh, you yeah. open your canteen, it says it's filled with monster brand energy drinks. Yeah. So it's funny to think like you, it's like magic where you're like, look, water into monster. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Keely mission is you got to deliver an envelope to him, which is the game of the year nomination. Oh for man, oh. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you can find him in chapter two. He's there, was a, there was a really good uh, picture I posted, I think, online too. There was a good picture that uh, that Skillup I think put up, where it was Jeff Keely and he opens the envelope, he looks down, <laughs> and it's Devil May Cry Five. And he looks up at the camera, and like next frame is he's like the winner's Death Stranding. <laughs> that was funny. You nice. know, you know, oh man, if Death Stranding gets nominated. It, it, it's gonna it, be a fun couple of weeks. It's, it's gonna it's gonna get nominated. It's gonna I, nominated. It, I I I don't think I don't think it should be. I'll say that. I, I think I, I, I think disagree with that. I, got I think game. it should win best narrative is where I, I think yeah. it should because it is obviously okay. above everything else this year. It's got a lot of music. Why not soundtrack? Just give it sound. <laughs> Yeah, it does have, have an amazing soundtrack. soundtrack. I think the soundtrack is better because of where they put the songs in the game. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, yes. But isn't it already pre-existing songs from pre-existing bands? Like, doesn't matter. Original? The, the location right. yeah. of How... songs inside of a of a well, movie or a yeah. game, the soundscaping is just as important as the content of the okay. songs well, themselves. It, it, and there are times okay. where the camera is normally like about four feet behind you. There are random yeah. moments where you like come over a hill and it'll actually disconnect and go way higher up and it'll start uh, okay. playing a really different song. And it just, it feels so crazy. Got you. Okay. Uh, PKG says, uh, just says send you S E N J U. Okay. Uh, sure. Dustin Taylor says, Austin, what's up with uh, space chicken? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> uh, Eth Ethanol says, uh, been playing Jedi Knight 2 on Switch lately and it's really fun. Hope we see more classic Star Wars games like KOTOR or Republic Commander. Oh, Republic Commander would be awesome to see come over. That would be really cool. I would like to see that happen. Um, second least gamer says, are adventure games not considered good games? Hell yeah, they are. I mean, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll make... Devil May Cry was just an adventure game, in my opinion. I mean, like Unchar Uncharted and considered oh, adventure. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd consider like Uncharted adventure. Yeah, and Uncharted is one of the best games ever made. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Christopher Riva says, is, is Conan really in the game? He is. Yes. About that. Yes. Uh, Zatoichi Gamer 85 says, there are six game of the year. Oh, there are six game of the year nominees. List your six. Mm. Borderlands, 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 and Borderlands. That's Borderlands. Well, four of them are going to be dead. Four these? of those slots are Death Stranding. Uh, <laughs> oh. Death Stranding. Uh, uh, I think Sekiro, Fire Emblem. Uh, I'll put Astral Chain in there too. Why not? I'll put those three. Um, <laughs> I need, I need to see Star Wars. Star Wars might be one of them. I I genuinely mm. think that Untitled Goose Game is going to be up there. I, I think it's that's that's got to be indie. It, it's, it's too low. Be. It's too low rated to be a game. It's an eighty. Oh, am I allowed to put? Am I allowed to put Resident Evil in there? Why not? They're not going to put Resident. They're not remakes. Put Resident they don't put Evil remakes in there. Yeah, they yeah. don't put remakes in there. And Goose I, Game is just I'm, is just rated way too low. Celeste got in, but Celeste was rated like nine. I think it's a ninety. Oh yeah. On Metacritic, yeah, I would put, Goose Game is an eighty-one. Obviously, Elder Scrolls Blades. I would because I would put <laughs> Resident Evil in there. If I'm allowed to, I'd put Resident Evil in there. But if Resident to. Evil isn't allowed to be on there because it's a remake, that's going to cause a lot of controversy next year when Final Fantasy VII comes out. Oh, that is a True. good point. We did. True. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe they should wait till Final Fantasy is actually complete. Final Fantasy and then it can become game of the year it'll never be well, they actually get all yeah the that'll be like 10 years i mean they later. can just ease us in with resident evil and just be like yeah it's up there no one voted for it don't worry final <laughs> fantasy 7 will never be complete it will just be released i need to go back through my list of of games that i but have to make sure i i get all of them i i have a correct. spreadsheet i've been making notes all year because it's been a hard one actually there's been a lot of the weird part about final fantasy, or uh, i almost said final fantasy 19 the weird part about uh 2019 is that we've had a lot of games that came out and then were forgotten like it's weird yeah. that An anthem came out this year like that's so what? weird to think i think i think it's, like, I think it's well, okay people forgot reason. about that that's a game that demanded <laughs> to be forgotten Oh no! Uh, so we'll, uh, you know, we'll, Zatoichi, we'll we'll be doing a a full uh, game of the year video and everything for the nominations. 
So we'll, we'll cover all of that, but I need to go back and look at all the games that we had this year, too. Oh, um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3, someone mentioned that. Oh, that yeah. was another split game. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was a weird year for, for games. <laughs> yep. you. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, this this year and next year, are really, the, the transfer years is usually yeah. not yeah. a lot of it's, big It's thing. a weird year for games because there's not, like, one game that people are like, yes. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no... There's there's no, no more. Red Dead Redemption 2. That uh, which is crazy when you think Borderlands three did come out as work. well. So yeah, there's war, no yeah. there's no God of War or Breath of the Wild this year. That's the and problem. There's no God and of War no, or Breath of the Wild. No Doom Eternal. Yeah, exactly. I, oh, I think, you know, but there I, is Borderlands three. God damn it, Jordan. <laughs> there is uh, Borderlands three, which is twenty seven dollars on Black Friday. Uh, twenty seven ninety nine Black Friday. That's a good Art, deal. Art Attack uh, says, uh, "OJ, I agree with you." Hey. You know? Uh, Robert says, I think I'll wait and catch it when it's cheaper. Talking about Death Stranding. Uh, I mm-hmm. actually, I, I, I do recommend that if you're unsure. Red box it or Fair. just wait for it. Um, I, I wish that we had rentals. I think it's, that's such a perfect rental mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Red box. Uh, Gameplay. Is that still a thing? I was just saying, Gameplay, is yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see the commercials Probably. all the time. They're so crazy. Actually, yeah, yeah, That's I got a, a random commercial. email from them after we talked about <laughs> a week ago. Uh, Juice Man Vaughn says there's nothing uh, there on the other side of that mountain in Death Stranding but more land to walk and deliver packages. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I want to walk on it all. FedEx me, baby. <laughs> walk on it all. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Uh, Benjamin says, uh, uh, oh, caulk the BB and float across. <laughs> Yeah, his BB gets oh, mad track. when you when you go underwater with him. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to. He shake gets mad at everything. That you actually, if you fall and you lose your packages, you have to to hold L one, press down on the D pad, and you'll look and the, down at the baby <laughs> and then shake, shake the. the you have to shake the controller to calm the baby down. What the fuck is this game? But you, but you can't you can't <laughs> rapidly shake. You have to like shake it like you're you're cradling a baby for real. You have to slowly do yeah, this and it calms down. Like, if you shake, I one time just for fun, I literally went like this, and the baby you give your baby sibs. I, I've had a I've had a baby, and you never rock. <laughs> <laughs> not how you rock a baby and i've had one before and i know you know you know don has a baby that's not how you rock a baby but that's uh, how you do it in the game a couple babies. <laughs> glorious glorious war says death training uh made me get why people like minecraft i love building roads and bridges yeah i still don't i still don't like minecraft i don't understand minecraft, minecraft. I don't understand Although, minecraft. i'm 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 like an old man so it probably John, just isn't for John, me one day you and me we're gonna i'm gonna invite you to my realm and i'm gonna take you through Dude, yeah, educate him. I, I yeah, look at all the beautiful show blocky how to hit blocks and what, then put we'll, blocks we'll spend, elsewhere. We'll spend ninety minutes playing Minecraft, and then at the end of that, you'll have a good idea on what it's all about and why you hate it. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> and why you hate it. Glory- <laughs> uh, Riku Key Two says, "Just using my free super chat, hoping uh, be on the cast sometime next year." Good discussion tonight, guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Variety Games DX says, uh, "Anyone who doesn't like Minecraft should be shot." Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. See, that is that is I'm- where your words on the internet Jeez. will start being held against you in a social profile. So be very careful. Careful about. I'm not saying. I'm not saying, like that, I'm not saying yeah. he's wrong. I'm not saying uh, <laughs> sit here and stay still, but uh, Miss Click, you may want to run. Oh, man. Oh, I am running. Uh, Glor- yeah, I was going to say, oh, you're not going this anywhere. What, what is this? I'm packing. Yeah. Like oh, if you're packing, you should ship it with Death Stranding uh, FedEx. <laughs> I guess I'm getting shot because I, I don't know what the hell Minecraft is. Spawns next to me. Oh, I hate Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the offer I gave John, I'm, I don't think I'm giving it to you. <laughs> uh, I don't want to learn about Minecraft. Okay. Glor- I know about Minecraft. You get an axe and you. There you go. <laughs> Glor- Glorious War says uh, Death Stranding is apparently sold out in a lot of places. Yep. All right. Uh, Matthew Matthew says uh, Outer Wilds is a great game too. Hell yeah, yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Outer Wilds or Outer World? Wilds. W I L S. Because they're because they're very similar. Okay. Austin Pokemon. Yes. Out this week. Sword and yep. Shield. Is everyone getting You've got one of the minutes. other votes? <laughs> I'm buying one. Uh, I'm buying copies, baby. I, I think I'm going Sword. Shield. I got the, yeah. the Steelbook double pack okay. from uh, Target. Shout out to Target. And I'm getting a digital copy from Australia day before. And I'm also picking a midnight release at GameStop, so I'm picking up four copies so I could do max raid battles by myself. I need, I need the. Uh, That's I need, a sad I need, life, I need, man. Could come by need, the launch, but I need an update here, Austin. How is the Pokemon community now? 
getting closer to the as before <laughs> they were not happy about this game yeah. right? this, there was um, a problem here so not really imagine this <laughs> every single pokemon <laughs> that you uh-huh. grew to love you don't know if it's going to be in the upcoming game right okay and this is the first pokemon title in a very 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 long time that we've gotten so little information about right because it's a new generation and it's a new engine and it's on a new system and for the first time ever it's on a home system mm-hmm. yes and we learned about i think it was eight of the upcoming pokemon which I'm going to discuss completely spoiler free. So I'm not going to say how many Pokemon are new. Uh, But let's just say about three fifths of the Pokemon that have ever been released are not in this game, which there's a good chance that your favorite is one of those three fifths. Uh, Something that you literally cannot avoid on the internet is that Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard's in the game, but not Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Right. They showed us. They showed. They showed Charizard, though, didn't they? They showed Charizard extensively. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we know that. The the, the the champion has Charizard. Yes. Charizard. 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 Yes. Uh, And (laughs) people were like, "Okay, so Squirtle and Bulbasaur is going to be there too," but we haven't seen anything that said yes or no. And the leaks over the last weekend were so divisive because a lot of people don't want to be spoiled going into a Pokemon game. But they they want more information before they buy it. Well, not so much that, but like they don't, they just want to go into a patch of grass and have Mm. something show up they've never seen before. Okay. And we've got so little information about the game that people who normally wouldn't go after and watch spoilers did so. Mm. Also... Um, this is the largest leak ever in Pokemon history. There's never been a game with such mystery around it. And in one weekend, in 48 hours, every single Pokemon from the game was shown because some kid in Indonesia took a picture on his cell phone and uploaded it to 4chan. Damn, so, 4chan. Yeah. <laughs> it's to the point that like, the, the, the Twitter channels that were covering it got a hold of the person and then they had a more stable faster communication without the uh the 4chan upload limits it's and, uh it, it, it is a it, it is an interesting build up to this pokemon release more so than i mean i've, I've ever seen has it ever been mm-hmm. like this before this controversy all this no, no. uh so man well, hang, hang on hang on, hang on. What, one of the weirdest parts is that Earlier in this year, I think February or March, they had the investors briefing for Pokemon. And at it, they talked about Pokemon Home, which is going to be the successor of Pokemon Bank. Pokemon Bank lets you take all your 3DS titles and put them all in one location. Pokemon Home allows you to transfer everything from Pokemon Bank, your phone, and Pokemon Go. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee into Pokemon Go. So you can have all 804 species and a third of them can go into sword and shield. And mm. that's, what's really catching people off guard. Cause like if they said, Hey, we're not going to release Pokemon home until, you know, when we're ready for the next games, then it wouldn't be that much of an issue. But we learned about the technology that they're working on to bring everything into the game. And then four months later, they said, by the way, you can't bring everything in the game. And that's when people got really upset. Right. Like, you're literally talking about making the technology to do this thing. And then you're saying uh, you can't do it. So is, do you think this is mostly like, like hardcore Pokemon fans that are, they're really frustrated and upset about this because I haven't played a Pokemon game like this since golden, no Ruby and Sapphire. The thing about it is that the hardcore fans aren't mad. Okay. Like I've talked to like, probably 20 plus poketubers about this and everyone is very excited Mm. because well first of all the first three four months of a game you only have the regional pokemon before bank or home or whatever is updated so you can't get those pokemon in the first place uh as far as the competitive scene usually the first several competitions are only with the regional pokedex 
and then it's only just a matter of the people who are more casual players who have and cherish their ludicolo from second generation and brought it through so on and so forth to the point that they're like oh i can't bring it into the game i'm very upset about this right but the people who are more open-minded to it are like that's fine i'll find someone else to love because we had the uh we also had that was the there was a hashtag today on twitter for, uh, i think it was yesterday thank you game, thank you, game freak. freak thank you game freak right yeah right so everyone what uh like shared a, like some kind of memory or something from pokemon with game freak was that the idea of the yeah. hashtag <laughs> It was about being thankful for all the memories we had in the past and being optimistic for it going forward. Pretty much the exact opposite of hashtag bring back national deck. Yeah, because Nate, yeah. Nate, Nate posted one. Right, Nate? You posted one for it. Yeah. And I read it and I was like, wow, I didn't think Little Town Hero was that good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> because you never mentioned pokemon or anything and i was like wow nate really liked little town hero who would ever associate <laughs> little town hero to game freak that was the last game freak game i played yeah i, I literally about put out a tweet people. like in 10 other a couple people. weeks ago and i'm like hey remember this game that people kept thinking it was, was going to be amazing. It was yeah, so that bad. already oh. released. Oh, little town hero was just it was so bad. I played more of it. I was like I'd rather be playing Death Stranding. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Whoa. You know. I know, okay, right? We're not, we're not talking Jeez. about Death Stranding again. I'll be up. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I sat here 50 minutes very patiently. You did. You did. Yeah, no, Little Town Hero was only worked on by what? Like 40 60, people or something like that? 60, 60 people? people? Yeah, it I wasn't many. I don't know the specific. Isn't, like 50 isn't people that too weird? many. How it was like a small team, but uh, VGC and Nintendo Soup all pushed this propaganda story that Little Town Hero was the focus of Game Freak, and that in turn fueled hatred towards Pokemon Sword and Shield, and how that made people say Game Freak is lazy and they're not prioritizing Pokemon because of Little Town Hero. Oh, look at that. It turns out there weren't a lot of people working on Little Town Hero. Oh, but there were a thousand people on Pokemon Sword and Shield. So Dude. next time when publications want to churn out shitty articles, maybe they should do some research and shut the fuck up. Which all get of them me, listed get, the get semantics the of that. No wonder they call and them the hate. Jesus. <laughs> the, the, the specific reason is because they literally made an analogy and were like, okay, so team one is working on Little Town Hero and team two is working on Pokemon. And these publications were like, team number one, that must have more priority. It must have more people. They, they put all their attention toward Little Town Hero. And that was, that's what one of the more things that fueled this. But you know well, what? It, it's, it, it's getting so weird now because we're so close to the game and we've learned more from leaks than we yes. have from Pokemon in the last year. It's interesting that, uh, that they're keeping game. it as quiet as possible leading up to it. Maybe they just want everyone to be surprised when it comes out. Everyone yeah. figure, finds it for themselves, you know? Like yeah. like the old days. Yeah, That was the plan. Mm -hmm. Game Freak intentionally left out details because they wanted people to play these games and discover it for themselves like the old days. The leak obviously ruined that. The Pokedex that has been revealed is not the complete Pokedex. There are still some Pokemon that people think are not in the game that will appear in the game. So that's kind of fun. And wait, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> that, that, that's not that, that's not for here. It's for the after hours. Because be so fun. far they've revealed the leak was for 400 Pokemon, excluding mythicals. That is not the complete number. <gash> oh. dun, dun, dun. Almost like I'll just say We'll talk later. <laughs> sometimes the leaks right? don't get everything. We'll talk right. off camera. Yeah, right. As I say, in the street, we gotta talk. No, talk <laughs> on camera. You won't. We, we'll, You're right. He I can't. He can't. <laughs> he can't. Don't don't Nate, say anything. Don't Nate say anything. Nate works on the door the second. On my door right now. Yeah, I take it out. Works for Dave. I figured it out. Yo, they're quick. Ninja's coming. I am the head of the <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's uh, Giovanni. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting next. Uh, I guess next week. What you're getting that Thursday, right, Austin? Yeah, well, yeah. One p.m. on Thursday. There you go. Austin, I may or may not Thursday. be in New York because I'm a, citizen, I'm a citizen of Australia, 42 Wallaby Way. Okay. Uh, nice. What, <laughs> what do we have for? Well, let's roll. Let's roll through this with this. What do we have for Metacritic scores? 79 80 83 88 low, low 80s mid to low i'm gonna say 86 86 86 i was gonna 86. say 80, i'll say 85 then i'll be right there so so we're all saying b to b plus 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I guess fair. No one is giving this an A minus. If they get an A minus, no. it'll be on. It'll be on their next their next Mo- Pokemon game. Pokemon, this is yeah. like their first console one. So the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Don't Diamond and Pearl remakes it. next gen confirmed. It, I yeah. think like well, not even next like gen, just next year. I mean, not, yeah, not that's how Pokemon gen, usually is. OJ, you're right. Yeah. OJ, yeah. OJ's right. Pokemon's usually like in it's, the mid '80s. Even the yeah. best ones are like eight '80s, like '88s or high '80s at the at the at the top is like an '88. But I haven't seen a Pokemon game get a '90 in a. In, and I, and I, and I feel like I've some outlets it. are going to try to latch on to this like fan anger to try to pull people in by agreeing with oh, it. Oh, you know, it's it's all going to go off on it. Somebody's, so, drop, somebody's dropping that 40 on Pokemon. You someone will. <laughs> no, no, no. No one's dropped. No, I mean, if you if you're doing your job as a reviewer and you're reviewing this, <laughs> game, meaning that you're ignoring the fact that there's no national decks, which couldn't even be accessed. You like you couldn't bring your old Pokemon into this game when this game releases. Then, and if you're judging it just on the content of the game alone, Mm -hmm. um, it's basically last gen, but in 720, all the models are updated. There's still no voice acting. Mm -hmm. Uh, The animations are updated. They look better. The textures look better because they have more pixels to work with. And the biggest gimmick is the open world aspect being in the wild area. We don't know how much of the game involves the wild area. Right. For all we know, if it's a real open world game, it's optional. You can literally just walk through it to your next destination, done. And then it's just based on your curiosity of a player to be like, hey, let me go explore the wild area. Yeah, I'm planning on reviewing it. uh, And I feel like I'm in an interesting position because I've played Pokemon so sporadically. I feel like I wouldn't even really call myself a Poke fan. I just want to like play it as somebody who loves Nintendo stuff and loves RPGs. So I'm, I'm going in position to- too, Max. Yeah, just like you, where you're like, I yeah. I haven't really been into Pokemon like that for a while, and it'll be interesting to to see it yeah. on the console. And yeah, I mean, it'll be and, fun. Well, and to just we're going to be going into it as gamers. So just being like, what is this? Like, I just want to check it out. I don't care about national decks or what my Poke yeah. Bank blah blah blah. I just hey, play. man. As long yeah. as my shoes don't degrade, we're already one point out. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to name my first Pokemon Death Stranding just to oh, piss man. off chat. <laughs> That's a really bad nickname for Grookey. Yeah. Name is Sam. No, you have to name him something. You have to name him like how Death Stranding gives names to people. Like Amelia America Strand. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. Name. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. That's not a name. That's just what you're doing or who you work for. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love how, I love how the girl Amelia America Strand. That is not a name, but okay. But I uh, mean, well, that's how names die hard, were founded. Man. Did you like uh, like yeah. in English? You had all the people who were Smiths because it was John the Blacksmith, so he became John Smith as a surname. Well, do you, so my last name is Shockley. Shockley is a profession back in, I think, old Poland. It's like an old Polish word that means uh, bale roller. My family's yeah. ancestors were the people who rolled up bale hay. Did you yes, guys, yes. Um, did you guys, uh, did you guys see the, the Sony patent real quick? I, I huh? saw your oh, video. I, yeah, it's I, a cartridge. I, I was about to ask everyone here I mean, what starter they're going to pick. But yeah, we could talk about Sobble, cartridges. Grookey, Grookey. I'm torn. I was Score partially going to pick Grookey, but then they sent the Sobble jacket. Wait a second, wait a second. Is anyone picking Score Bunny? I am. I, I think Score Bunny. probably. I don't know how long I'm going to use I it originally for. was, but then I saw, I saw Sobble. I saw hey. Teleon, man. <laughs> Teleon. So what? What'd you say? What'd you no, say? Uh, nothing. Sobble's final version. You didn't see anything. That's what you oh, said. I didn't see the league, so I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, I saw all the leagues. I don't care. Ninjas can, they can come here. They can come here. I didn't. I didn't share them around. I saw them. No, though. it's not oh. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Uh, I mean, out, out of all that jacket. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The street. The stream's down. Hold on. <laughs> the stream's down. Is it? Down. Yeah. The no, ninjas got us. The nin- oh, it's because oh, the, the oh. ninjas showed up. It was a us. joke. It just it just went whoosh, right over no, my head. Nintendo yeah. literally it's just got a fringe. <laughs> pulled the, pulled the plug, yeah. <laughs> Seeing all the starters, I was between Grookey and Sobble, more toward Grookey. And then Drum after monkeys. seeing the evolutions, that just oh. reconfirmed it for me. Dang it. Dude, nah, this a- is the first time I'll do a water starter since Crystal, where I did uh, Totodile. So. This is the first time I'm not doing a fire starter. 
Yes, it is, oh. it's been forever. I'm always fire, dude. I, I'm always grass, but I'm going water this time. I'm actually, I mean, I'm buying both copies, so I'm just going to trade it to myself, and I'm just going to do my first playthrough with all three so I can decide which one I actually like and then share my opinions. <gasps> Crazy. Uh, the PlayStation patent, though, if, if you did not see, <laughs> <laughs> on topic wave, it is uh it was a it was a patent for a what it looked like a memory card almost, but it's like a cartridge. Mm -hmm. and and you think you think it's external storage? I think it's a, I think it's storage for the PlayStation Five. I think it's their way to let you change out the drive ah. space or the hard drive inside it's an ssd obviously well what it does say a key point of the device on the patent itself because obviously it was in portuguese from brazil is that it does have in the data that it is a read and write data device yes so, so it it's not a cartridge that. then right it would be a game cartridge then because we would just read from that and then save to a memory card or or something else if it's like a you know for a handheld or something like that but this would be a read write so that's why i'm thinking it's you're literally going to pop in and out drives inside the playstation 5 but you can't use any three and a half inch western digital seagate drive you have to use one that has a baseline for reading write speeds through sony kind of like what they did with the vita do you remember what their reasoning was for the vita memory card was because they needed it to be a certain speed minimum you, they didn't want people to go get like some random micro sd card and drop it in that's not yeah, fast that's also why they charge so you three hundred dollars for 20 exactly card. they're yeah. making their own proprietary nvme drives that's what it seems like yeah i i i don't i don't know i mean i i think you're right i mean i think you're definitely onto something about the patent but do you really believe they're not going to allow you to plug in a 3.0 usb external drive and use it on i don't think it'll gen? i don't think it'll be fast enough i, I think for like save data and movies yeah i mean I, I i i i know what you're saying but i also think that if if they kind of limit you from doing that that may really turn some people away from the ps5 in I my thought, opinion i thought the way they'd be able to do it is you'd be able to plug that in and locally back up your install like just move it to that but then if you ever want to play it you have to then unpack it to your because everything's gonna be designed around that that ssd they've yeah. already said it so unless they sell externally you know basically ssds in enclosures that then run through usb 3.1 i guess it would have to be maybe they can make that work but that's why i'm thinking they're probably not i guess they're not gonna they might not solder it to the board like i thought they would it might literally be hot swappable well not hot but like you'd be able to change it out on your own basically kind of like, like what the, you can do with the ps4 now yeah well, i was gonna say like the you think it'll be like what the tinier xbox 360s had where there was that little rectangle thing yeah. where you could pop yeah. out yeah yep. technically there'll probably be a little door on the side you unclip it and then you pop this out you pop that in it'll probably be like mm -hmm. honestly it'll probably be like tiny too it won't even be that big but here's yeah. the here's the really cool thing about that um they, they'll probably be able to make a cheaper playstation 5 then because they'll be able to make one that's smaller in size because it's not permanent like mm. the like the xbox 360 arcade edition which yeah, arcade yeah card, which, right? which i then, used to have then you yeah your own hard drive after the fact I yeah. have a feeling that's a way that's their path to four hundred dollars if they do it. I mean, that's that's a strong theory. Honestly, I think you may be honest. Something. That makes perfect sense. Uh, so that would be a, that'd be very interesting to do that because then I'd want to hear what Microsoft's plan is if they have that same idea. So if if they don't and they're doing what they do with the Xbox One now, they might actually end up being at a disadvantage. Hmm. I mean, interesting. that's that it's it's worth keeping an eye on it it's also possible the patent's gonna end up being nothing but this is it's also worth mentioning this is a patent for the enclosure and not the actual device inside mm. like yep. it's not for whatever it goes in it so they have their artist right now creating this which would be weird to spend have them spend time making something like this an enclosure for something that doesn't exist or won't exist so it's, well, this particular like, artist, he draws everything PlayStation related. Yeah, that's the other thing. So, it's all it's all PlayStation. I mean, so. it could just be them coming out with an idea. It could never see release. It could be nothing. It could be something. But right now, we literally just have a picture of a little plastic box. Right. This is the same place that they filed the patent for the PS5 dev kit, though. Yeah, but it's I mean, that's why that's why it's so interesting because all of this stuff is like. Like right there, uh, it, it it makes sense. Uh, but I mean, we assume we'll find out something about the PlayStation Five in like February, March, maybe. 
Here's a crazy idea. Uh huh. Uh, they could do the hot swappable NVMe drives, and then they may have USB 3.0 for external drives. But if they have Thunderbolt 3, then the external storage could be used at the same speeds as internal storage. I mean, I misspoke, by the way. It'd just be like a regular, just swappable. Yeah. Like, you're not going to have the system on when you take this thing out. So I misspoke on that. <laughs> we're not popping these things out. Yeah, while yeah, it's no, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, we're talking about like, <laughs> they're oh, swappable, you yeah. know, <laughs> here's my one terabyte NVMe. I yeah. put it on there. That's full. Shut down the system. Remove it. Put this yep. in. And mm. your operating system isn't on that. That's just your local storage. Or you could plug in a, a Thunderbolt 3 drive. That's also possible as well that they would have some sort of storage just soldered to the board inside, and that's where your OS is installed. Also very possible. Hmm. I mean, they could what, get away with that being, if, you know, what if they had very multiple, small SSD. What if they had multiple slots for those? I was thinking of that too. I mean, Ooh. they may have like two, two, you know, two swappable drives in there or drive bays in there that you could do it that way. That would be crazy. But and again, you can make them in RAID. Four hundred dollars. Oh. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know about four hundred dollars. Oh, RAID one. I'm trying to figure out how they get the four hundred dollars with this system. Uh, I, they're just gonna. I mean, they're probably just gonna take a massive loss. You think that's so? oh, that's the man. bottom line. Is I think uh, PlayStation Five needs to come out of the gate huge. In fact, there was even some new report a couple days ago about the fact that they want it to just be like day one massive. They're trying to push the PS Five to be like way bigger than even the PS4. Let's uh, let's let's move over to the the last topic, super chats, and then we're and then we'll finish up here. Oh my god, uh, this is gonna be a three hour show. It's a long show. Yeah, it was longer. <laughs> it was longer. That death well, stranding. Pokemon stuff. talk, Austin. I don't <laughs> know. Oh, my my eight minutes of Pokemon talk. Evan Evan was right. We should have put a timer on that. We death really should. <laughs> we did. We we did it under a half hour. No, uh, it was fifty five minutes. Half that's, hour. Uh, that's shorter than the. I went to the bathroom. The I got a drink. Had it a snack. I feel like it Sean's took you fifty five minutes to go to the bathroom. Sean's story at the start went longer than the the death training tool. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like it did, not it? It did. I timed it. His story was nine minutes. It just felt like forty minutes. Uh, it was a long story. Like it was all built up for like one little thing at the end. He's like, and yep, that's how I got arrested. And I was like, oh, okay. To be honest, I don't remember a single detail of his story other than he I remember, was Sonic. I remember that his girlfriend remember was the name. on a park bench. Oh, man. Yeah, and then she got in the car and left. I'm actually not sure why she was in the story. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. Oh, because Ho's mad. Ho's mad. And Akeem Olajuwon was in it. That's yeah. really the highlight. It was him. It wasn't even. I thought the story was going to be oh, better than what it was, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I feel like the story of him, of him buying the baby from eBay is better on. than that. Okay. Uh, PlayStation Worldwide Studios, the president, Shuhei Yoshida, is actually stepping down. Well, he's doing his own division now, apparently, where he's going to go talk to indie developers. That's yeah. That's his thing. I, it does sound like he's getting demoted 100%. No, I feel like he, I, I, I think I just, he might just I, be on the way out. Not on I the way agree. out, but I, I think it's his retirement, yeah, retirement. Think, leg. Yeah. yeah, this it's is okay. his, yeah. you know, he's an icon there. So this is his kind of, hey, I'm, I'm going to step, move to the side here and I'm going to, I'm going to spend another five years here doing what I do in the indie department, but yep. I'm going to, I'm going to retire after that. I'm I done. Th I think you're right because they have to decide now if he's going to make it all the way through the PlayStation 5's like, it's its entire lifespan because it's not yeah. there's no point in these people leaving midway through you know get everything sort of situated before the ps5 launches or so that's why they have uh herman holst from gorilla games is gonna be taking over his yeah. position at worldwide well, studios so so part of it this could also just be a symbolic job because they don't want him to leave we've actually had a couple times where people who are in charge of a console or like one of the main people behind the console leave before launch and it usually screws it like even the dreamcast remember the head yeah. of sega of america left the day before the dreamcast came out and he's he made a bunch of terrible decisions right before he left well this this so. position is to basically manage the, like the first party studios like we heard shuhei of course going to play god of war before it was gonna get unveiled and he didn't like it at all apparently uh yeah. but it's their job to go talk to all the first party developers make sure everything's on track and i have to i have to admit herman holst actually might be really good for this position uh because mm -hmm. he was the one in charge during decima's like creation 
I want to know more, and I, I know I'm kind of moving off topic a little bit. I want to know more about Sean Layden. I mean, he's gone. Did yeah, we still have now? not heard any. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we talked about it at one point, I mean, and it yeah. was just one tweet for him. One. I was like, yep, he was like, bye. And I, want to, I want to know what happened there. That That's a very interesting story to me. Someone, be, pro- someone needs to get the exclusive on that and talk well, to him. Right. I, I, yeah, agree. There's gonna, I guarantee you there's going to be a Kotaku article in like 2022 that's like, all right, here's the tea. <laughs> it'll be interesting you're right mvg that is an interesting story to, to hear more about but uh decima is, is going to i think become very very instrumental for sony going into this generation so why not have the person who worked to manage and help create it obviously with i mean he he wasn't there you know pr- he wasn't the one programming all of this stuff right he was but he was managing tons of people creating this engine that i mean i have to give it so far decima is two for two so far so oh, yeah. yeah i mean horizon and now uh what you call it uh death stranding launched with no real issues like there's no real mm. bugs or crashes yeah. or anything crazy going on so i mean i think they're going to be using it quite a bit going next generation it saves them a lot of money too so i i think herman holst makes a ton of sense for them yeah it's a definitely good pick for them for sure yeah and uh nate any thoughts on this i'm i'm kind of agreeing with mvg i think it's just shuhei yushida's way of unload like getting a lighter light workload funnel himself towards retirement maybe at the end of the generation of the ps5 era or maybe even just towards the end of it and hey we'll see how this the guy from gorilla does in this position i mean shuhei yushida did a lot of good for sony during his tenure so this guy has big shoes to fill i think it's gonna be cool to see uh uh yoshida go around talking to indie developers that'll be neat i mean sony was aggressive with indies early on the playstation yeah, life and then they, they just kind of fell ditched out of it a couple of years into it they're like yeah whatever we have big games now we don't need you and then you saw nintendo kind of step in and say we're going to embrace the indies so but now now think about it though if you're an indie developer and shuhei is coming to visit your studio that, that's that's got to be big you know you'd be like oh, okay all right we can we'll yeah, show so, I mean, everything so could work in their favor for the ps5 if they actually embrace and they're willing to help indies out maybe fund a game here or there kind of like they did back you know or jim, this is interesting though jim ryan and herman holst hmm. that's gonna be interesting uh, for the ps5 yeah. isn't it jim ryan doesn't exactly give you confidence mm, he doesn't he really doesn't it's it's gonna be interesting i think if he should is coming to your studio to Thanks, talk about jim. indie games he's dropping off some dev kits as well he's gonna he's gonna want you to build some ps5 games for sure oh yeah mm-hmm. that'll be interesting is, is the logan paul fight tonight yeah i'm still waiting for it to start i have uh <laughs> totally legal live streams up of it right now oh, okay. oh, yeah. right. could, could you legally oh, link that could you me? link me to this legal stream oh god absolutely <laughs> hold, it stays hold, on. On. hold on someone holding a controller it's and being not like starting I'm playing yet. Is ksi keep... They keep pushing it back. Oh, I think at this horrible. point it's midnight for oh, East okay. Coast. That's wow, funny. look at this awesome arms trailer you shared with us. I Not love arms. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> the right. law. This is really a thing. People really Let's watch not... this. Yeah. I mean, this I... time this time they mean business. I mean, okay. it's because... Let's go through this. The sequel. If we yeah, they're bringing out the on. fake blood packets. There's, there's the sequel. more people watching if, us if... than watching this live stream right now. I'm just saying, like, if pe- people like to watch kind of drama and stuff like this. If I had a fist fight, like, if we hyped it up for a month, if me and uh, Spawn Wave met up in real life and fist fought, and let's face it, he kills me in one punch because I'm a little bitch. I mean, you <laughs> would pay to watch that. Yes. Yo, John is jacked. Uh, Have you guys ever, ever seen him in real no. life? No, don't, don't, Wait, no, he's, don't he's tell the, people that. Dude, you don't, you you don't, don't think seen him you, in real life? Dude, yeah, don't run. Fit. He's oh, low key actually flexing in his thumbnails. Come on, no one. Come on. He's like, look at this behind me. Look at this picture behind <laughs> me. Let me show you this picture. It's right here. <laughs> all you gotta you do guys is lift seen... a couple. All you gotta do is lift a couple My weights every now and then, Nintendo guys. <laughs> all you gotta do is lift like a couple times a week. You that's, know? That's true. That's Remember true. to oh, hydrate, man. people. <laughs> I love it. I casually grip my can. Oh, oh my god! Is that monster there's, energy there's drink? A little too much flexing going on. <laughs> right now. Uh, monster energy. Drama wave. I was. I would watch. Dude, <laughs> that'd be. I'm not gonna lie. That's where the real money's lying. John. Is that your, is that your fourth channel? 
drama wave. wave. <laughs> <laughs> so today, uh, Logan Paul fought KSI, and the fight happened. <laughs> I, would just, I, I would already just, picture the channel. I would just laugh the entire time. It wouldn't work. The great <laughs> channel. Guys, if this podcast hits 2,000 likes, Drama Wave gets one test run episode yeah, to see if right. it works. That's not happening. I can't, I can't report on what... We're up to 1.1. I, hey, can't I follow all the drama. I'm the complete sheet for it. I eat it Thanks, up. I think MVG. it's entertaining. I can't. I can't I report on how far boxing's fallen. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got to lift it up by you beating the shit out of me, bro. Uh, the fight, night. <laughs> fight, night. <laughs> fight night round five. Let's let's make it happen. Uh, Bringing it back. Uh, Matt, let me go through super chats. Matthew Matthew Hammond says, uh, "Will Tekken be released on Switch and or Smash Bros?" No. Wait, okay. what? Actually, you can you can play Tekken on a hack switch. What? Just so. oh, wait, no. You can play anything on a hack switch. <laughs> yeah, MG. Our, you can play Pokemon screen. Sword and Shield on a hack switch. Whoa! Whoa. What? What? The, what? Huh? When, when, it, when it leaks, Nani? obviously. Uh, that uh, wait, where's oh that average gamer says would Toys for Bob make a decent Psychonauts? Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think so, Maybe. but I think they should just focus on Spyro like they are. Did you know? Did you hear that there? This is a rumor going right now. Right now, did you hear that the uh, the newer releases of Spyro on the PS4 have all the content on the disc? Uh, yes. wouldn't that know. is a current rumor that's going on. I don't know if it's correct. I'd have I to mean, get a new disc to see if anyone they buys. Did shrink the size considerably from lot was like seventy yes. gigs down to thirty six, so they if, could put it yeah. on. It's a lot anyone, smaller. If anyone buys it at like on like Black Friday or something, or they get a PS twenty five bucks, twenty five bucks. Put, a, so put up a uh, put up a message on Twitter or something and and uh, check that check that disc out to see if it also, if it's on there. CTR on Switch though, only fifteen bucks. That's such that's a, that's, that's a good deal. A good deal. I mean, Crash, the the, the, the Crash Insane trilogy is on there too. 15 bucks yeah that's 15 bucks and then spiral is 25 but that's still worth it that's 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 pretty good that's pretty good overall right there Uh, yeah um brian says when when do you guys think breath of wild 2 is coming out how holiday 2020 i believe and or march 21 yeah exactly that yes uh matthew Matthew (laughs) says what about the cartridge shown off for uh ps4 psvr 2 just went over that. Uh, now that you said, Nate, that is read right, I, I definitely lean towards a PS5 uh, SSD drive of some kind. Um, before, I thought there was a chance that there could be an all-in-one uh, PlayStation VR 2, actually, uh, MVG. I had that idea, yeah. too. Yeah. It was a thought. Um, hey, listen, says Smash Bros. Ultimate Demands Game Game Awards Game of the Year Award. It has the highest Metacritic out of any game eligible. The greatest crossover with 76 recognizable characters in just the base game. Also, plus, uh, also 800 plus soundtrack, local multiplayer, play anywhere multiplayer, and a story mode three. Overwatch did not have and a lot more tremendous amounts of content with more to come. Thanks for listening. I agree. It should win. Yeah, but it should have won. It should have won it last year, though. It should be, it should, yes. or it should have been in there. With well, no, the no, it came year. out the day after the game. That was. cut off, man. It that came cut out off at midnight. Tough. That cut off is been tough. In, but like lots of places, like Famitsu, and lots get, gave it yes. Game of the Year 20, 2018. A lot of It'll the be, Japanese. So they, I, I assume they're going to remember it this year. Like I assume they're going to remember right? it. But yeah. I just do, fighting games, just like Smash, Smash for Wii U was in the same boat, mm. but even a better boat back in 2014 and it mm-hmm. still didn't beat out the game and it had i think it scored like three or four or five points higher than dragon eight or dragon Age Inquisition, mm-hmm. or it scored higher and it yeah still the difference win. the difference is no one bought it what smash for wii u yeah oh it sold sold over five million okay no also no one bought a wii u that's true Compared nobody bought a wii u. Like the nintendo yeah. switch that's i mean that's, that's five true. million is uh what's that a third of its that's less, that's more than a third no, of its eight, installment eight mil- like 8.3 million wii u's no, there's no, 13, 12, 13 and 12, a half, almost right? Almost 13 million. Yeah, almost 13 million. About 13 million. But at that million. time. I've got two of them. At that time, though. <laughs> at, that, at that time. Like, You're at that time. You're a brave man. Yeah. At that time. It's crazy, man. Don't be at the time. Don't be at the time. I love it. Listen, I'm not saying Smash isn't really good. I just feel like a lot of times people go for, like, that cultural impact, you know, kind of like that really narrative-heavy story kind of thing uh like celeste wasn't the most stellar obviously in all the gameplays it was a you know a, a, a bitty side scroller but it had a really good story it had the impact you know it had these oh statements they felt it made you know interesting so, you say that there's another game that's doing that right I, now. Swear Stop god, it. I swear to god <laughs> uh, it's called untitled goose game what do you think i was talking about 
Anyway, this is why the award should not be in the same year. The award show, at minimum, should be in January. At minimum. That's it can't be within the idea. same the year. Of December. I, no, I, well, I, even I, that, because the, the, the way the Oscars or any of the other award shows for like anything, any other genre do it, is they wait until a couple months into the new year, so they've seen everything yeah, from the previous year, played it all, watched it all, listened to it all. Jordan, you know, you know why it's in December, right? You know why it's the first week because of December, Because that's right? when the ads pay, baby. You know, that's when the money's there. there. Trust revenue. me. I know why they do it. I still yeah. don't agree with it, Keely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, there have been there have been almost as many Smash Ultimate copies sold as we use yes. sold. Yes, yes. There's more. There's yep, more. Yep. There's actually. more now. Now there's more. You can uh, go to the Nintendo's. I'm looking at is November third. Oh, you saying can you can go were... to you can go to Nintendo's IR page, Austin. You can see everything exact from the end of uh, what a month ago. We can link it to you. Uh, but I mean, it shows you everything. It, it's really easy to like because they do it like they do it uh, very well, like um, graphics and everything to compare it easily. Uh, the robot chicken says during let's go uh, oh, during let's go 15.38 versus 13. Yep. They yep. beat out the Wii U uh, there, during let's go wait for next year. E3 2018. They're only going to cut one or 200 November 2019. I can no longer see the goalpost. Wait for next what? year. Oh, because they're moving. They're only going to wait for. Oh, okay. During Let's Go, wait for next year. E3 2018. They're only going to cut one or 200. Remember 2019. I can no longer see the goal. Oh, Same no. There's no more win. cutting. There's no more cutting. They can't do the cutting thing again. I, I think he learned. was making a joke because Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee only had one. Hmm. Okay. Well, because it was. Well. Yeah. Uh, Kyle says you are all, all breathtaking. One love. And then hashtag me of the week. That's for Sean. He's not here. Uh, the, ro <laughs> the robot chicken says, hey, sorry, E3 2019. Here's more money. Got it. <laughs> uh, hey, <laughs> I don't understand this. I get questioned how I run my channel. No shade, just question how much. Because the because the December comment, bro. Last year I didn't even upload in December. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't I don't care about ad revenue on my channels, bro. One of my channels I'm gonna promote later is not monetized. I could give a crap about what my channels make in December. Uh, hey, listen says. Uh, oh, I just did that. I did that one before. Um, uh, Atlanta says didn't watch leaks. Can I transfer my fifty dollar Mew over? Uh, if you <laughs> took your Mew out of your Pokeball and put it into Let's Go, you have to wait and purchase Pokemon Home. If okay. your Mew is still intact in the Pokeball, never registered to a game, then you can use it in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Native. So are you saying that possibly the $20 Pokeball, because it's going to be marked down on Black Friday, I think it's $20, is a good purchase if you're wanting Mew. That's a great purchase, yeah. Yeah, if it's mine. down for $20, it yeah. Is. Uh, it is yeah. down for 20 bucks. I heard that on on uh, on the on Spawnway's channel the other day. I might day. get another. Um, that's an all right channel. Yeah, yeah that's, I, think that's, I, think that's, I think that's Best Buy that's doing that. 20 bucks though yeah. for the Pokeball. Really? I should yep. cover that in a video. Yeah, there you go. I do <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, and then we have, um, oh, hey, listen again, Smash Bros. Ultimate Game of the Year 2019. Uh, Philip Patterson says, XO19 is this week. Any predictions? They apparently are going to show, I think, one new game or something because it's redacted, but some Game Pass stuff. I was hoping they do some Scarlet stuff, just anything, but. Yeah. I kind of don't, don't think they're going to. I think we get a tease. I don't see how they can go into it and not do a tease of some sort, even if it's just a trailer that shows. Can we close it out? Close it out with Scarlet yeah. trailer or some kind? Just be okay. like, wait for E3 and they'll just do some Here's quick the real question. Thing. Halo Infinite anything? No. no. Oh, no. They should. They should. <laughs> they need it. Oh, no. I don't think we see anything of any <sighs> substance at XO19 of Halo Infinite. That's not they good. Just, they just need Halo Reach, honestly. Again. Uh, Best Halo. Something is going to be surprising at XO. Oh, see, there we go. Miss inside on. information. Here we go. <laughs> I will say there will be something cool. Like I will, I will watch it. It's going to be Pokemon <laughs> somehow. Yeah, that's all I know. That is genuinely all I know. Uh, is it Banjo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Battle Toads is, is going to come out and still I'm ready for sing. Banjo. I'm ready for Banjo. <laughs> that's, is it that's probably true, actually, Max. Is it? <laughs> what? That what? Battle, Battle Toads will come, come out and it'll still. Is sing. it Blinks, the Time Sweeper? Oh, <gasps> bring him back. What about uh, what was that mouse game? Sneakers. Remember? Sneakers? Oh no! You know what they should do is they should they should drop Tunic on Game Pass right away. Ooh. 
is it grabbed with grabbed by the Come ghouls on, too? Ooh. Tunic, man, tunic. <laughs> I need tunic. What about, what about yeah. Gex or Ristar? I'm, I'm just going to keep rolling. Too? Off, mate. I'm going to keep rolling off dead. Let's get, uh, let's get a Sphinx sequel. Is it, is uh, it, I is think it Microsoft is going to come back with Kakuto Trojan. Oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Juice Man Vaughn says, haven't played Pokemon since Heart Gold, which was amazing. So I'm excited to check out Pokemon on, on Shield. Okay, Pokemon Shield. Uh, the Winers will just have to make a new team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we, all need, we all need to make a new team. It's a new game. Hein says, I have a complete living Dex, and I'm not mad. Nice. Oh, there you go. Congrats. And then Art FFD, no uh, no message there. Thanks, Art. Um, Sweet. Oh, uh, student asks, you got a new Switch, Austin? You did? Uh, I'm up to nine. Wow. My nice. original, my two Let's Go Switches, Jeez. my Pikachu EV Switch, my V2 Switch, the three Switch lights, and the Zamazenta Zycean Switch light. Uh, I only got four. <laughs> I, got, yeah, I, got I only got four myself, too. <laughs> John, Jonathan Reed, no nine. message. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, Nathan Nathan Smith says, can, when, when can we pre-order PS5? Probably uh, E3 next year. They'll probably announce that it goes yeah, on like pre-order. Maybe when they date yeah. it. Yeah, they'll give us a date and a price, I think, <laughs> next E3. Um, second, second least gamer says, MVG, did you see Diablo 2 ported to Vita? I did not, but uh, I will uh, go check that out. I'm always oh, looking finally. for new things to play on the Vita. Okay, very good. <laughs> Uh, Ethanol says, I know I'll be wrong, but predicting something Half-Life related at Game Awards. Just have a feeling, uh, don't know why, also Dying Light Switch next direct? Maybe there. I don't know. We'll see about Dying Light. But I think also, I think Batman will be at Game Awards. They just mm-hmm. they teased it way too early. Ugh. I don't know why they did that. Uh, and then Sakon 10 says, it's... Uh, it's uh, it- Oh, Itagaki's, Itagaki's new game, Ninja Gaiden 4. Would they do Ninja Gaiden 4? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think Team Ninja is letting him mm. back in. Because oh, he was doing some. He was doing some teasing, wasn't he? Yeah, he's gonna make Devils Fourth. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> kidding. And then, uh, oh, and then Lucia says Pokemon Sword and Shield will sell eighteen million. Nah, yeah. it's gonna sell way more than eighteen million. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Uh, yeah. 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 Switch, the what's the switches currently being sold at? Current what? switch sales? About 40, 43, 42 million. million. 42 million right now. Well, As me... of last month. Yeah. 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 I definitely see it breaking the half mark and becoming an evergreen title. Mm-hmm. I think it's a minimum mm-hmm. 22 mil. <laughs> yeah. Can we, uh, I think I had, I think we have a, I think there was a Streamlabs message and then we should be able to uh finish up here oh thank uh, god i gotta get i gotta get back to death stranding it's been three hours <laughs> oh gosh or or on donated said uh score bunny you know score bunny all right and then uh toxic says uh does anyone here play tetris 99 are you aware that there is a pokemon event going on right now there what pokemon theme right Austin, get on it now make the video uh oh, pokemon boy. sun and moon did 24 mil Oh, there you go. And hang hang on. Keep in mind that this was the Pokemon game that came out right after the Pokemon Go craze. Okay. Uh let me let me go around here cuz we're uh just, we're going to finish up now after about What three about hours. that other comment? 3 hours. What about that person who just donated? Oh, here I'll, I'll read it. So a gentleman <laughs> uh very kindly to support this wonderful program and i believe his name is my nipples they hurt when you twist them there you go sir you got your two dollars worth what is that profile picture it's Roll definitely is wood is wood on a bed more like this i think uh austin thanks for joining us tonight where, where can the people find you thank you for having me i'm austin john of austin john plays where i play nintendo games and triple a titles uh if you're picking up pokemon or you're interested in pokemon i recommend checking out my channel and hitting subscribe currently we're at 876,000 subscribers and i'm trying to hit a mil by february of next year oh wow nice why specifically february well my wedding was supposed to be february 22nd Uh, and my engagement (laughs) broke off and i'm taking that date for myself and that's going to be my cutoff date for a mil yeah Okay. Power. I'm, I'm available, Austin, if you want to, you know. 
Oh, yeah, if you, dude, I, if you want, dude, if, <laughs> if you want to have a bro, bro day, we need to finish that sentence. That... No, dude, if, if you want to have a bro day instead where we all fly over there and then, you know, kiss each other or whatever. I mean, it's up to you, man. I'll fly. Uh, well, a week after what would have been my wedding is PAX East. Oh, uh, heck yeah. If you guys are shipping up to Boston, we'll all go PAX after some I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, I'm man, driving I'll, on up. I'll, I'll even put on a dress. But, yeah, no, I think I'll go what? 2020. Oh, 2021. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll, why you gotta Why you gotta leave us hanging like that? Why you gotta skip? Just, just hang with the boys. Girl, hang that the came boys. Into this oh, well, apparently you're not just hanging. Familiar. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, stuff's hanging. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Sometimes oh, we yeah, kiss. Yeah, yeah. And so, we think Sean derails this thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's MVG, getting late, all right? Napkin Boys is starting soon. MV, MVG, where can they find you, man? That's true. Um, <laughs> you, how, do, how, do I, how do I? Where do I go from here? You can find me on uh, Twitter at Modern Vintage G, social media Modern Vintage Gamer, YouTube Modern Vintage Gamer. Monday's video will be about PlayStation Three, so check that out. Okay. And thanks for having me on the show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, Evan, what about you, man? Just follow me on Twitter, Kimmerx Project. Link should be below. If I'm ever doing anything, I should be streaming some more artwork this coming week because I'm done my little I can't stream this project. So I'll be able to get back to doing okay. some stuff. Miss Click, uh, do you have a Swish sweatshirt? Yeah. Yeah, they, they sent me a uh, Sobble Squad. Who is uh, they? What? They is Nintendo. Hey. And then, uh, Nate, Nate, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Direct Feed Games. Link to my YouTube channel there. Then I have my secondary YouTube channel that is called Nate the Hate. I have a Twitter account for that. It's at Nate the Hate, followed by the number two. There are currently four discussion videos up there talking about Death Stranding reviews, Retro's weird game that supposedly existed, but not too sure if it did, hmm. the Pokemon leaks and how it has repercussions throughout the industry and moving forward and the current review bombing situation on Metacritic and how gamers need to grow up and stop doing entitled whiny little acts like that. <laughs> okay. Get them. Uh, Miss, Miss Click, where can they find you? Hey, guys, Miss Click. Uh, thanks for having me on again. Um, you can find me on YouTube as Click Gaming, or you can find me every day on Twitch, uh, except for this weekend, I took a break. Uh, MissClick underscore live, I am there streaming every day. We'll be streaming actually Death Stranding tomorrow. Normally I'm off on Sundays, but I mean, I don't have an option to wait at this point. Uh, <laughs> and then other than that, MissClickGaming.com, you can find all my other social medias on there. It's easiest for you. Okay. Then uh, OJ, where can they find you, man? Yeah, if I'm right here on YouTube at Player Essence, also Player Essence, I'll be giving away a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield, just like we gave away a copy of Luigi's Mansion. So nice. we'll do another way a copy of the game for you guys. Uh, subscribe right to the channel. Um, and yeah, I stream. I'm pretty much a streamer at this point, I guess. <laughs> so I stream. <laughs> I stream pretty much every day as well. You've uh, been sometimes. a streamer for like ever now. I know, seriously. <laughs> um, but I also do edited content too. I edit for other people, so it's like I do all sorts of crap. But anyway, uh, yeah, I cover Nintendo and I cover um, a lot of Nintendo stuff, and I cover RPG gaming, uh, anime, and just like a lot of crazy streams where we just talk about all sorts of crap. So come out, to, come out to the streams, and yeah, cool. Anyway, right. and, yeah. and then Max, what about you, man? Uh, youtube.com slash dreamcast guy um, this I am probably about to work on what I feel like maybe my most important video ever um, we're coming up on Shinmu 3 um, oh, yeah. I'm so excited for it I actually filled out the paperwork today I might be getting an early review copy so if that Ooh. happens I want Ooh. to I, I want to make several videos Reviewing the game, uh, I'm going to do a separate spoilers video talking about what I think about the story, whatever it ends up being. And I kind of just want to do one talking about like the vlog of like how it feels to be a Shinmu fan. It's been almost 20 years since the first game. So you're going to record yourself playing it, right? Because I kind of want to watch you cry. I do. Yeah, I do think <laughs> I am going to probably just like record at least the first like hour of it, like in my face cam and do something with it. Maybe maybe I'll just put it on Twitter. Uh, but yeah. this is like such a happy time. I'm, I'm legitimately yeah. just so I'm so happy. Even if even if the video gets like five views, I'm so glad this day came, you know, so uh, Jordan, what about you, man? 
Uh, you can find me on two different places. I have my main channel, Jordan French, which we are a couple subs away from finally hitting 29,000. Uh, or you right can hit me on Batteries Low, which I've been really constant on, which is a gaming channel. I'm doing Animal Crossing videos. I did a Black Friday deals cool. video, Pokemon video. Go check it out. We're about, we're literally a few subs away on that channel from hitting 1,700. So go ahead and check out either of those. Uh, frequent on them. And I appreciate the support. Thanks for okay. Thanks for having me on. The fight's already over. Logan Paul won. What? Wait, really? what? Damn. I'm watching it live right now. What do you mean? Is this uh, old live then? Okay. <laughs> it's old already live. over. Anyway. Uh, no thanks, way. everyone, for, for yeah. joining us for Spawncast tonight. And we'll be back next uh, next weekend. We'll be talking Pokemon. So that'll be interesting. Next and episode oh, will be oh, six oh, hours. Oh, and Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi yeah. Fallen Order. Yeah. All right. I'll be playing it. And maybe All we'll right. talk more about Pokemon and less about Death Stranding. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so you're lucky. No way. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you uh, next Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Strand wave.